What's up, friends? Welcome back to IE and Friends. My name is Saul Gomez. My name is Caesar. My name is Air Bear. We're in the presence of a champion, a half marathon runner. Ew. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's thank right. You. That was yeah. fun. Congratulations, Caesar. Saul. Caesar just, oh. Caesar just uh, crossed the finish line. Crossed uh, the finish line. He ran a half marathon at the Rose Bowl this past weekend. How was that? How you feeling? How are your legs? Mine, mine are fine. I was like doing shit the next day. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I didn't feel it. I think I didn't run fast enough. Really? Yeah. yeah I saw your goal was to be under two hours. Under two. I was at 202. My goal Damn. wasn't under two, but it was like when I realized I could run under two, I was like, I'm going to speed up. Because mm. like no cap, like there was this, this pair of legs I was following. Yeah? Like, you didn't want to lose track of it? She was just fast and I was just kind of following her pace. And then like, it was like either I would pass her and then she'd catch up to me or like just follow the pace. And then after that, like mile 10, I was like, okay, like I could like pass everyone. Yeah. So yeah. When I took off, but I could have taken off way earlier. Damn. Yeah, but it was fun. Did would you learn going into this for the marathon? I could run faster. Yeah. Yeah. But for the marathon. For a longer you're gonna, time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to hit under four hours. Cause I know a lot of people that's like the average four. Yeah. I think. You didn't bring your medal, huh? Nah. Uh, I'm not a show off. Come on, bro. If I were bro, if I have medals, I'd be fucking <laughs> I'll take that shit to me. Take your pictures? Yeah, I'll be taking that shit everywhere. <laughs> I have two, but nah, I need the, the marathon one. When you uh, when you do the marathon, just one day you should just wear all your medals, bro. Just for fun? Yeah. Like, Actually, that, you should look, bring look me all loser. your trophies. <laughs> put them here. It's like, look at that loser. Yeah. No, they'll just be like, they can think like, oh, they got trophies. Like, yeah, we got trophies. Yeah, we got trophies. Like, this trophy Bottom. is plastic. I, know you guys I found that shit at a party and I took it. <laughs> you, wait, that's what... <laughs> it was at Dell Records party. And... <laughs> you took, that's right, you took and it, I, bro. Dell Records <laughs> Yeah, and I took that shit. I was like, oh, cool. Because people were taking yeah. pictures with the... It yeah. was part of like the whole the <laughs> oh, red carpet their shit. Yeah, and I took it, yeah. <laughs> bro, they just gave it to him and then he just didn't... I just kept back. walking. He just kept walking. Thank you for the trophy. And he just carried around like he won something. The whole party? Oh, yeah. People yeah. were asking me, what would you win? You're and like, I was like, oh, our, our podcast. <laughs> like, they had an award? Yeah, we got an award for our podcast. Oh, you weren't there, dude? Damn, you missed it, bro. <laughs> They're like, we didn't even have You're an like, award the, show. The, bro, the CEO of Dell Records actually gave it to us. Bro, he was fuck there. boy facts? Ah ha ha. Ah ha Damn. Go to the club with a trophy or a medal. <laughs> I don't think that works. <laughs> They're not gonna let you in. They're gonna be, be like, bro, I just you just say you bro, I just want a spelling bee or some shit. They're gonna let you in with a medal. A spelling bee? Yeah, you just say some dumb shit, like take a buy a medal off Amazon and just doing, take that what shit. What are you doing to the club. being a spelling bee at twenty <laughs> in your twenties? Yeah, what are you doing in twenty five at a spelling bee? <sighs> you know, actually I was talking to Armando Carmona, the city council. Shout out to Armando. And he was telling me he did a spelling bee and that he got like he was doing so good at the spelling bee. That they wanted someone else to win the spelling bee. So they gave him really, really big words and they gave the other dude little words. Oh, wow. And I was like, damn, that fucking sucks. He was just talk like that, the homies. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, he's just chilling. <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, bro. I'm taking over the city. I'm just going to become friends with uh, political Polit leaders. Polit politicians. Yeah. So I was going to run for president in like 2055. Run president. Of the I'm going to turn the IE into its own country. It's on state or some good, shit. Good luck with that one. Yeah. I feel like the IA could be its own state. But um, I learned something today talking about the don't ocean. Well, the ocean is on the screen right now. You know, it's actually something crazy that is so wild about our screen that we have in the studio. Mm -hmm. People that don't know. Basically, it kind of hears us, right? Mm -hmm. Or it knows what we're about to say. Yeah. And two episodes ago on Besties, um, they were talking about going to the gym and then Isis was like saying something sarcastic. She's like, "Well, I'll go to the gym when the sky turns purple." You know what? You know what happened on the screen? The sky it turned was purple. The, it was that. It was a purple sky. Yeah. Oh damn. It was like that, but it was just purple, and we just went crazy. We're like, what the fuck? So, so that's wild. But yeah, today I'm gonna teach you guys about Jose Salvador Abarenga. So if you guys thought society, hey, stop reading, bro. You're you're spoiling it. Stop <laughs> oh, reading. Sorry, my sorry. I started reading. And I you're figured I read the first four letters for if words. Thought, okay. If you thought the society of the snow was bad, imagine being lost at sea for 438 days. Yeah, no fuck. Only Just, you yeah. and a stranger. Well, that happened to Jose Salvador Alvarenga, a 36 year old f a fisherman from El Salvador. Oh, damn. So on November 17, 2012, he set sail from Costa Sur, Mexico. And Jose's fishing partner at that time decided to back out from this trip. And there's a 24-year-old Ezekiel Cordoba who was just looking for some extra cash. And he said, hey, I'll join you on this adventure, you know. And um, so what was supposed to be a 30-hour fishing trip turned into a 438-day uh, a trip. 
So basically, Damn. uh, it was a they started off very pretty successful. They gathered up about a thousand pounds of fish, and then that on their by the way, on their 20 foot on their 24 foot boat, and a storm came out of nowhere and hit them and uh do like just changed the course of their of their boat and the waves and the rain was hitting that it messed up all of their all of the equipment in the boat they lost their gps they lost their radio and um basically oh yeah it's and it damaged a lot of the boat it left a lot of water and so the storm kind of died down and they're like we we barely have any gas so let's just dump a bunch of things that we don't need so unfortunately, they dumped most of the thousand pounds Dang. of fish they caught because it was so heavy, not knowing that their engine does not work. So now they are stuck in the ocean, no engine, no food, barely any water. And the supplies they had, they was they weren't really well prepared. So everything was like halfly charged. Oh. Yeah. So wait, when did this happen? This happened November 17, 2012. 2012? Yeah, 2012. Damn. This is pretty recent. Yeah. So because of... Uh, and also more more challenges that they faced were hyperthermia. Because in the storm, their clothes were getting wet. And then overnight, it just get really, really cold. So uh, they had a lot of things uh, against them. And uh, so, yeah. So the, the boat drifts further out to sea. And, uh, and they became... Obviously, they became lost. But Avarenga, using his fishing skills, because he's an experienced fisherman, he started catching fish with his bare hands. So what he was doing, yeah, he was just using his hands. Because when you're out in the middle of the ocean, like fish don't know what humans are or whatever. So he's just putting his hands there and it just sparks curiosity of fish. And once fish pass by his hands, he like clamps down and he, they start eating that. That's how they started eating. Ooh. But then they also, they also ran out of water. So they also started drinking their own pee. Also, though, they started catching like, uh, what is it, seabirds? No, not seabirds. Uh, seagulls. seagulls. They started catching yes. seagulls and they started drinking the seagulls' bloods. They started drinking the blood of the seagull. They found turtles. They'll drink the blood of the turtles. They'll eat the turtles. Anything they can find, even jellyfish, right? Oh, shit. So, um, about after about two weeks at sea, you know, uh, there was another storm. And that's when they started collecting rainwater. So with anything they could to catch water, they were uh, putting their bottles, buckets, and they're just catching rainwater. And they're, they're, they're good hopes because they're like, fuck yeah, we finally have some good drinking water. But that doesn't last for long. But somehow the powers of the universe or God gives them a gift, a random trash bag floating in sea. And um, this garbage bag contained chewed gum, half uh, spoiled milk, a half head of cabbage, Car- and carrots imagine that you're stuck at sea and now you just see a bag full of food supplies so that gave them a little hope but unfortunately this now they're like mind you they've been out there for like years well not years but for weeks but unfortunately that doesn't last too long and here comes another seagull they catch the seagull and um ezekiel the youngest one he starts eating this seagull but then uh, Ezekiel starts to become very sick, not knowing that that seagull previously ate a poisonous snake. So that made him very, very ill. And he lost all, like he did not want to eat anymore. He got very sick. He couldn't eat. He couldn't drink. Unfortunately, Ezekiel, the 24 year old, uh, passes away. The crazy part. He eats him. Literally the crazy part. Oh, actually before that, good point. When they were like in his, his last dying wishes, he told, they told each other, they're like, let's make a pact. We're not going to eat each other. And also, whoever dies, please go tell my parents this message. So that was their pact. And then so he, uh, Ezekiel passes away. Then, uh, um, what's his name? Jose, he becomes very, uh, he starts hallucinating. He starts going crazy. And uh, he feels the worst thing is isolation, right? Mm-hmm. And he's so isolated uh, that he keeps um, Ezekiel's body to talk to him. So he's talking to this corpse for four days straight to the point where he realizes I'm going fucking insane. So he finally gives the the uh, he finally gives Ezekiel a, a farewell, like out to sea. And another thing, Jose was contemplating suicide a lot. But the, he said the one thing that kept him going was his faith. He was like, no, like, I know there's, there's a, a light at the end of this tunnel, right? So uh, he, just, he just kept going. 
And um, so he starts hallucinating a lot, a lot to the point where he's walking his boat. And in his head, he says in interviews that he, he felt that he was walking like at a mall, like at a court, like at a, a mall, like a food court or something. That's how much he was just hallucinating. And then while he was drifting out to sea, he, this part, this part that sucks, he would see the big old container ships out in the distance, but there's really nothing they can do because usually in those container ships, there's about a crew of like 20 to 30 people. So, and to catch a 24 foot boat so out tiny. in the distance. So that was just the, like his hope was getting killed. But then he saw what seemed to be an island. And again, he thought he was hallucinating. And he's like, nah, I'm like, there, this can't be an island. Like my mind's playing games with me. But the island wasn't going anywhere. He noticed his hallucinations will only last like about a couple seconds. But the island was straight there. And uh, he finally, he changed the course of his boat to go, to, the, to go towards the island. And he realized it was a real island. And uh, he jumps off his boat and he swims towards the island. And he makes it to uh, basically what, where Bikini Bottom is about. Um, a bon atoll, or was it? A bon atoll. It's a little, little island. Like Bikini Bottom. Yeah, it's literally... That? Like, it's one of the most isolated places in the world. That's where, mm -hmm. like, the U.S. would drop nukes and test all their bombs oh, okay. in this island, right? And um, the crazy part about this, this place is so, so tiny that even if he was just a mile off, he would have missed it completely. And his next step would have been the Philippines. Wow. So he just got insanely lucky on having this little island on his course. And uh, he swims to shore. And there he was uh, met by some locals who uh, they helped them up and they, they dressed them and they called, they called for help and everything. The crazy part, then it gets even crazier for this dude. He, once he returns back to like Mexico, he is now being sued by Ezekiel's family because they're accusing him of cannibalism. They're like, you ate my son. What? Yeah. And he's like, no, like he was just going insane. He's like, no, bro, like, trust me. And then, so that happened, right? I, think that fell through i don't think that i think it just it, it just fell through mm -hmm. but then he uh he wrote a book he ended up writing a book it's called 438 days an extraordinary true story of survival at the sea he wrote that and then he was kind of expecting for this to be like his success story right but unfortunately the book didn't sell many copies it didn't hit, it didn't hit. and then he was also expecting for a movie to be made because this is such a movie thing and a movie has not been made oh man so um yeah and now he's just going back to being a fisherman so imagine the shit you Damn, went bro through. you went through everything and and now I you're mean, back to being a fisherman that's life yeah i bet you i mean <sighs> that wild that's crazy i mean i just teach people how to survive now should yeah so that was so should have become a tiktoker now bro so there is this thing of all these uh because people did not believe it like all these experts and scientists they didn't because believe it doesn't seem like it's possible they did not believe yeah literally that he was out there for 438 days and but, like look how he, look how look at how he looks like he doesn't look that bad like there's no way but they believe the movie life of pi huh if they like bought the tiger, tiger on a boat <laughs> <laughs> right so uh so it came to the point where they're even giving him poly like the polygraph test mm -hmm. to see if he was lying and he passed all of them and then he sat down with like scientists and he described what he went through, how he felt and everything. And all the scientists, they checked out they're like, yeah, this is, this is true. So a lot of people are, they don't, they don't give him as much credibility, but as, as of right now, it seems like he did go through that. Dang, that'd be a sick movie. How did they find out it was 438 days? That is the interesting part, right? Uh -huh. So let's talk about that. Let me drink this How, how do you, well, don't you unless, leave and then you no, tell someone like I'm leaving? He, unless he like knew. You okay, know what it is? Probably. Uh, because when he got lost at, well, after the storm, he did still have like some radio communication and he, um, he, he, at, he like called into whoever the people at the pier are at. And then, so he told them like, Hey, like I'm help, like, like a uh, SOS type shit, but he couldn't give any coordinates cause his GPS was not waterproof. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they knew of him. They actually went to go rescue. They went to go do a search and rescue. It lasted for two days and they gave up. I know two days is insane. That's crazy. So yeah. I guess it's just from the day that he reported missing to when he, he found, was found. So I guess that was 432 found. days. 38? Huh? 438. Yeah. yeah. 38. Or also like the day he left. We'll yeah. See like a date and then when they finally found him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Yeah. That's over a year. That's crazy. Yeah. Would he have survived? Would he have survived? Probably not. You, you, I'm not a skilled fisherman. What if you were? Not? What if you were a skilled fisherman? You're not Aquaman. Like, you're just a Bro. fisherman. Fisherman. I mean, at least I know a boat. 
I know how to work a boat. Yeah. That's true. I know about the water in a certain way. You know, he was using... Uh, he was 400 also, days though, bro. That's a, I get bored. That's, that's a lot. Have you seen the Mr. Beast video when he... Put, yeah, like he was like 10 days isolation? or something like that. Yeah, he thought it, like a lot of time passed by, only like four hours went by. Yeah. Like, fuck. Or, or they, they wanted they wanted to leave. Like, oh no, I think they did call it quits on that one. I yeah. think they didn't finish the dates. Because isolation, I think that's the worst one. Yeah. Crazy. And they're all together. But it was like yeah, a story. Especially story. when you're born into just being around people. Yeah. If yeah. you're born into isolation yourself, then I mean, I'm pretty sure it's easy because you're always yeah, used you're to used yourself. Yeah, you're used to But... But yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't definitely. I'm, I think we had that question last episode. Would you rather be stuck in the mountains or at sea? Definitely mountains. The sea, I I feel like the sea, you have more chances of eating. But uh, your ocean is way too big. Yeah, I'd rather take the mountains. I feel like you'll run into something. The mountains are scary because you, you don't know what you're going to run into or really? what's even preying on you. Oh, that's true. Like a bear yeah, or anything, yeah, you know, boop, boop, boop. but I feel like you're just more secure because we're used to being on land, not on the water. Yeah. And the water, we, we, I don't know what's under there. Yeah. You can't, you can't jump shit. in it. Like you, at least I can see a bear. You yeah, can't see a shark. The, I mean, I can, yeah, you know, might, there's a bar, a bear. I stand attack a better you. chance fighting the bear than the shark. The shark doesn't attack though. That's Honest, the thing. Okay. Well, well, That's the thing. <laughs> who would shark? win in a fight? Well, you versus a bear or you versus a shark? Me versus oh, a bear. Me versus a bear, I'm done. Me versus a bear. No. 100%. I'm way quicker than the bear. No, you're not. Bears are very bear. fast. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm outrunning him. I'm saying I'm quicker than him. I can yeah, take yeah. quicker angles. I feel like catch you can take a bear's ankles. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you, you, you're you're going to take his ankles and then when you're running straight, what's going to happen? He's going to uh, catch his ankles, up. Take his ankles. His ankles and he's done. His ankles and he's done. But a shark. You're going to climb a tree, right? No, I'm not gonna climb a tree. Oh, I'm gonna say because bears I'm can gonna climb run in trees. zigzags because they can't really turn. They don't have a quick turn rate. Yeah, I'm they my can. Brain what, you and my what are you talking what about? What do you mean? Have you ever Wait, seen? It's that? better chance than a shark because sharks go. They have quick turns. You can't, you can't fight take a, a shark, and you can't take a you can't take a shark's ankles. Because think about a shark, a shark, and then one shark, and then one bites you, and then you survive the shark attack. But then you're still in the ocean now. With more sharks. With more right. sharks. Good point. If you fight a bear, then you have like cubs. But you just, bah, look at Leonardo bah, DiCaprio, bro. That ass revenant. Yeah. Nah. So you take a shark? You think you'll take a shark or a bear? I take a bear. I'm, I'm I'll take screw, a bear. I'm screwed either way, but I'd rather take so. my chances against a shark. You know what shark. I do? At the bear, I just go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, oh, little bear. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> Bears is growling. Not, oh no, don't be so bad. <laughs> have you not seen the videos of like those Russian dudes that don't even fight the bear? They just the bear just kind of throws yeah. himself, but they're not. He's not like you know. I'll be me. No, Go this vibes. is a wild bear that has not been with you since it was birthed. I think. So, no. <sighs> um. A bear won't well, yeah, like the thing that with the shark, the hardest thing is the fact that you move slower in water. Yeah, exactly. So you're fucked that way. Yeah. I think a shark, I mean, yeah, shark, you're like 90% fucked. The same thing with the bear. No, but a bear, a bear, a bear like you're a like 75% no, fucked. fucked. 50-50. I say 50-50. 50-50. You gonna kill okay, it with? Let's the what bear. are you going to kill it with? Kindness. Kindness. You know dog. what I'm gonna do? A hug and I a give you right now. I'll start a, rubbing a, his belly. A rock the size of your hand is not gonna do shit. No, to I'll that start bear. rubbing his belly. I'll like I'll find like his, cause he's never been rubbed in his belly. Think about it. A bear's never been pet. <laughs> never the been fact loved. that look, 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 the fact a that you think you can, the bear. fact that your moment you think you're gonna rub a, be, a bear's belly and think you'll be fine. Yeah, like you said, like well, like you said, it's never it's never had that happen to him before. Yeah. That's the point. Got it's gonna think it's an attack. Imagine you're you're like a wild man out in the wilderness. All right. And you see, you yeah. see, a, you see a another person, yeah. gender of your choice, and you don't know what the other person is. You're gonna go kill that person and eat that person, and you're running, mind you, you're naked because you don't have clothes because you're a wild man. You're running, and this person just starts jerking your dick. <laughs> are you gonna keep eating him, or are you gonna feel the pleasure? As a wild man who probably doesn't know what masturbation is, but, but you know I would think good. that's him trying to attack me. But you know, it feels good. But he starts like he starts crinkling your balls like that. I love how I turn it to a man. I'm right gonna away. think it's an attack because I'm a wild man. Ass. I'm a wild man who knows has no recollection, no like sense of what <laughs> masturbation is. So I'm gonna be like, hey, what the fuck? Like, but you know, you know, it feels good. Doesn't I don't know what that it's is. Kind of true though. It's kind of true though because you can't just touch dick and it feels good. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be like, ah, yeah, you know, yeah. like you probably get a little bit more more scared. Like, what the fuck you doing? Yeah, bro? yeah, and that's when you get more more aggressive. You're like, well, you're kinda, soft hands. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like you can get away with petting a bear. I mean, yeah, you can pet a bear. No, I think yeah, I think no, so. I you're think fucked. a bear you're fucked against a bear. A bear's like fighting a really big person. Yeah, good luck with that. A really big person that moves very fast but and is very strong. I just have to be and has sharp ass claws. I just have to be this much faster. This you, much. you think a bears that's but bears are fast. I know bears are fast. Have you seen the videos of have the you, bears chasing snowboarders? 
crazy. No, those are scary. Think about it, that's thick ass snow. Yeah. Thick <laughs> ass and snow. Fast. And he's just <laughs> catching up to a border. Fast. That's bro. just insane. That's my point. And the fact these guys are like like heavy as shit and they can climb a fucking tree, like it's just I don't know, bro. What? Like there's fucking steps there for him. Like what? Ride Come the on, bro. Bear. I feel like with the bear, you can oh, like if you know. really want to get crazy, like you could stick your fingers in his eyeballs. Nah, good luck trying to get to its eyeballs. I'm gonna have to give him a hand, literally. Bro, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> when a bear stands on his two, Pokemon. when a bear stands on his two legs, you're probably up to its dick. I'll st- you know what I'm, you know. Yeah, what I'm you know what you're gonna. I know what you're gonna say. I knew exactly what you're gonna say. Twist his dick. Twist his dick. I was the old dick twist. Imagine, what if do you think bears? feel that much pain in their balls as like can you kick a bear in the balls and, and like would drop it hurt? them like would it hurt can you I've kick ne- a gorilla I've in the balls seen, and would it hurt i'm i'm sorry to tell you guys dude, but <laughs> i've never seen some bear dick or some bear balls so <laughs> i don't know you're man. not a bear expert like i don't know where exactly it'd be you don't, don't know, know where bear? like what happens if, like huh where you don't bear? know where the bear i don't know where the bear what if you stare at the bear and where where would be, you have to stare I may at be the heiress of the bears but i don't know anything about the bear and probably he just doesn't care like the, ca- like the care bears <laughs> yeah who gave the care bear stare <laughs> fuck man Ooh, super Jesus. rare you guys know super rare super rare super rare super rare no. you guys super rare no. you guys know super rare what you guys that? don't know super rare no oh, you guys. well it's my favorite tiktoker right now super uh, rare why is it look like rex <laughs> You <laughs> said think about something but smaller. Yeah. <laughs> he literally meant he literally meant smaller. Okay. I thought he meant like follower wise. Super rad. I love the skills though. The skills are nice. I like that. Super rare. So is that because he rare? cooks everything rare or? Nah, it just, not well. He's like he says super wow. It's, it's super wow. It's super wow. But he says the way his accent makes him say super oh, rare. So super like, rare. Super wow is the word. Yeah, super rare. He kind of fucked up though because everybody was trying to figure out is it super rare or is it super wow. But then he made a video explaining it's super wow. But now the magic is gone. Super wow. Now the now the hype is over. I was like, bro, you should have kept it a secret. Super rare. And you got super rare. Super rare. Zero calories. Super rare. <laughs> I can't do that. Super rare. Super rare. Zero My, calories. My accent's already too thick in one way. But yeah, fucking. So a cool story about Jose. We're led to just find yeah, bears. To bears. It's yeah. super rare. <laughs> and kicking them yeah. in the balls. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Jose, crazy, bro. That's why so the hallucination part is crazy. But it sucks like, that they never made a movie about him. I know. They should make a... That's why I'm... Yo, if yeah. y'all make a movie Netflix. about it. Netflix. There you go. Y'all gotta give Netflix, us the credit for bringing there it back go. up. Yep. Oh, do you think the end of podcast is coming? The end of podcast because they're gonna all become repetitive. Ooh, great. Like, not guest, not Check guest this out. wise, but like idea wise, because there's only so much you can do through your voice. A hundred percent. I think yes, hundred percent. I think podcasting is uh, oversaturated, but also this goes into uh, the end of journalism. Oh, I saw Did that. You guys I, see saw, the I, saw your, I saw your clip. Yeah. I figured you wanted us to watch that. Yeah, yeah, I posted. Yeah, I was like, I probably want to talk about it Mm -hmm. because Univision also. uh, I was going to say erased, and I was going to say deleted. I'm just in my. I'm an editing thing. Uh, They uh, what is they fired? Dano snapped them. Yeah, they fired a bunch. I think they Univision. I think fired like thirty people. Um, Damn. And then um, L.A. Times, like a bunch of journalists, like all all these journalism companies fired a lot of people. And thousands um, of people. Yeah, thousands of people, and it seems it's because the uh, the social media the. It's it's the uh, how people want fast news, but sixty second news isn't that's the full news. That's yeah, not like you're not like you're not gonna get the full story yeah. from sixty seconds. But yeah. that's kind of getting washed out. Like long term journalism is getting washed out. I by feel yeah, sad. I TikTok, feel like that's TikTok really bad. Really I feel like that's really bad because like there's like rules to journalism. Like there's first order, second or third order, right? Like the first person is like the person at the interview, like LA yeah. Times would get to. Yeah. Bro, the TikTokers are not gonna be interviewing that person. TikTokers are just watching those interviews and then fucking just giving And then it. I don't know if it goes, TikTokers I, are not doing the work. Yeah, and I, I, I can't and say it, for all of them, but and then I don't know saying. if like it goes into like medical journalism because then that, that gets even deeper because if yeah. they're firing those people, bro, 
some TikToker girl is gonna explain to me about like exactly. something. Like, while I have to like, literally look up while they're putting like a like a te- like a subway surfer below the video to keep your attention. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite. That's crazy, so they're yeah, Fortnite. exactly. They're building to keep your attention. <laughs> yeah, That's crazy. but shout out to all the journalists. Don't lose hope. You know we need you guys. Yeah, I think they don't know. They, I don't know. It's weird doing the dirty work. Yeah, doing the dirty work. Yeah, but then bro. she was also saying that like it's hard to be an independent journalist because if you're gonna try to like expose a corporation they can easily make you disappear yeah. like they have the money to just make you disappear yeah. and like discredit everything you said i think everyone forgets that they're like why aren't why aren't so much secrets being exposed and why are this and that it's like well because like you may think that oh this only happens in movies it's like nah dude these companies have so much money yeah and there's if there's a scandal going on they can easily just like cover it that. takes some yeah. big ass balls and just like a, bear balls? a lot of secrecy that you don't get found out. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like the like did you guys ever see that movie? Oh, what was it? The the CIA person that exposed Edwin Snow, I believe is his name. He's what like the CIA uh, Edward operate. Snow. The Edwin one, Snow. Uh, yeah. Is it Edward Snow or Edwin Snow? Something Snow. I forget Edward or Edwin Ed, Edward. Yeah, the one that exposed the CIA. He exposed the CIA of like of like that they tapped into your phones without you knowing and like oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Then, uh, Russia yeah, took him. Yeah, Russia took him yeah. in as like, you know, Okay, and then, yeah, yeah, the so U.S. Like wants that. him back like so bad. Yeah, yeah, like they still want him back to this day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his shit's still not dismissed. Yeah, so like things like that is yeah. scary. I feel like I'll like die like that, like exposing Coca Cola, exposing Coca Cola. Nah, but yeah, I I, I, I think the the end of journalism is 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 scary because uh, it goes into the uh, once you have like once you're like once you're getting rid of small smaller corporations of journalism. Then only the main ones survive, and they control can push. Everything. They can push whatever agenda whatever they agenda. want. Yeah, yeah. which so happens true. today. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's gonna happen more now. That's gonna be happening more now. Yeah, especially yeah. all these layoffs, which is insane. Yeah, dude. Um, and then so that kind of goes into like there'll probably be more podcasts too. There's gonna be more podcasts, and there's gonna be more independent journalism. Oh, because they're doing the work. On, okay. Yeah, but um, that's that's what that's what's gonna make podcasts stand out. Like, if you want to do long term podcasting. It can't just be no more like it's fucking around. That that's there, there's too many we're fucking around type podcasts. Now it's just like shows with substance. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, shows with substance and fuckboy facts. I feel like if a show like makes that. you laugh and like maybe distracts you, like I just watch like a show like La like Cotorrisa, shout out to them. Yeah. It's in Spanish, but I just watch it to just hear it. It's uh-huh. like it doesn't they, they have like facts and stuff, but I'm not out here using these like, facts yeah. that these podcasters are using yeah. to create conversation because exactly. they come out of a hundred amazing facts out of a book you know so yeah. but it's just fun to like just listen to and just you know, space out for like two hours i think for sure 100 percent. but there's gonna be a lot of them yeah where competition where the competition is gonna be so high so i so if you want to stand out if you want i think if you want to be like a fucking around podcast to stand out that one you're just gonna have to find it's gonna have to find that th- i don't know you're just gonna have to be that person you're gonna have to be him him yeah. or her or her or them or they them so uh yeah we'll see what we'll see what the future holds but stick stick to it you know stick to it don't stop don't stop believing that sucks oh dude that sucks a lot of people got fired for that it's yeah. dumb yeah yeah who's gonna do all the dirty work all the dirty work. think about what goes into a story and who you have to talk to the inside plugs you have on who to talk to at certain companies and this is the certain worst part, people how long it takes how long a story takes to just yeah. build up yeah so like you can't just be an independent journalist because let's say you gotta i'm gonna go travel to go to go learn about this issue well there goes like maybe two two to like six months of like work like that, surviving yeah that you can't do because you're out here researching and stuff like you can't be keep post you can't be up with the algorithm you can't be consistent as a journalist because or else you're not going to be doing your research properly yeah you won't be fully engaging yeah so the yeah. scary times for the journalists but let's go back into your marathon running. Okay. It was fun. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, yeah, like, I mean, I think a marathon's a nice place to meet a woman. I was going to ask you that right now because yeah. I feel like if you, if you, because, oh, check this out, bro. If it's you want to meet the best the, places, if you want to meet the love of your life, you can meet her at a marathon. Because think about this. You the can time run behind you, her until she ends and make no, like, the time you put into training. You, the lifestyle you live, you will meet with the people in the area that you're running in together. So if your time is two hours, then the other people whose time are two hours, they kind of have the same uh, training habits lifestyle. as you do yeah. to run those two hours. Like, let's say if you, like you, he's a two cooking, hour cooking. mark, yeah, a two hour mark, 
and an hour and 30 no let's do a two hour mark and like a an hour and 30 mark right probably come maybe not too drastic what's that's the a, fastest that's a, time? that's a crazy difference yeah? in speed yeah then yeah then that's yeah. someone who's more dedicated more like, like discipline like, has way more time we, just all that type of stuff we're able to like start the race with us uh, his wife karen shout out to her mm-hmm. but she's fast bro she had like a pace of like eight Oh wow! Eight, eight, yeah, and it's like fast. I think she finished like in one fifty mm-hmm. from her Damn, the post that popped difference. up. It's crazy fast, Bro, and, and and her pace was a minute and twenty seconds different than I was, or like a minute forty seconds. So I was like at nine forty, and she was like at eight. Uh huh. And she was fast. So and like one thirty to like two hours is a big. It's a big difference, yeah. but it's like it's like yeah, because that's continuous pace to the whole. But it's like you can get there. Like if this person really wants to get to this, like yeah. you, you definitely can. But I think not, so. Think about the marathon. So a marathon's way longer, right? Double. So you're, you're basically running around the same people for like the like you're getting excited. Kind getting, of, getting yeah. Like after it. like I'm flying because I'm gonna run into that girl again. <laughs> exactly. Because because you guys have the same time, so that means you'll probably be in the well, same area. Well, we had the same pace up until herself. we had we had the same, oh, pace, the same, the same pace, yeah. we had the same pace, but I was going a little like I wasn't trying to push myself. Mm-hmm. So after the tenth mile, I took off. Yeah. So she was like, well, I'll probably I'll look for her. I'll look for her. You'll nice, be running that pace for her nice back. Yeah. <laughs> like. Oh. So that's what I'm saying. And then like, so you guys are running together, right? So like in a marathon, you're kind of, you're kind of like, you can even like hype each other, but you got this, come on, you got this. And then at the end, it's kind of like trauma bonding in a way. In a way, it's a because you're bonding. you're really pushing your body to the limits. And who else is there with you? Yo, fuck boy facts. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. If your girl's running a marathon, you she's better not, run that with her. Because she's not running it alone. <laughs> she, there's gonna be another guy running with her for the four hours. So you better what get 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 start training. Because uh, start training. Or else this man's gonna be running next you got, to your girl. <laughs> All right. You got eight weeks. Or make her slower. Yeah, and he's gonna be pushing her. He's gonna be motivating her. Be like. Come on, you got this, you got this. And then at the end of the finish line, you know who she's going to high five first? Not you, because you're over there. She's going to turn to the next guy next to her like, we did it. And he's going to hold his, he's going to do the, 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 <laughs> the hold. He's not just going to, he's going to do the hold. So watch out, bro. Gonna, Start running. I'm Start running gonna, with your girl. I'm not going to live at the marathon. I run into like a cutie and she runs really, really slow. My time might be really shitty. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, dog. <laughs> you want to walk these three miles? It's all right. Oh. Because that's that's the type of girl you want, right? The, I'm pretty sure you will definitely find the love of your life out of marathon because all her habits, all her like... These basic- marathon women low-key are a little extreme though. Mm. So like you might, you can also know what not to look like. And they also probably get really thick because they like, they probably cut down for the marathon and then after, for like after... They gonna get all like nice voluptuous bodies, <laughs> dog. I'm no. gonna start running. Nah, like I was at the, I was um, I was with like parked next to this couple, and that marathon girl, she was extreme. She was yelling at him, telling him that she had to be the man. Like she was, she was going off on him, and I was like, bro, stop being a bitch. <laughs> Literally, I that's was why like, only last three seconds in bed. And he was like, and she was, she was driving. And I was like, damn. I was like, this is where you fucked up, bro. Whoa. Yeah, I felt bad for him. You know I, what I'm excited to hear. The thoughts you go, well, after you run the marathon, because I'm pretty sure that you're going to go through a bunch of thoughts, like when you're running for four hours, just, oh, for sure. I wonder like what's, what's going to go on in your head. Call me after mile 13. It should be interesting. Cause I, I mean, after mile 10, like I start getting like really in the rhythm mm-hmm. and then after, like the most I ran is 15 miles. So like, I don't know what that feels like after. Yeah. So yeah, should be fun. Avoid nine miles after 15. That's a crazy mm-hmm. difference. Yeah, it'll be 26, huge, 11 miles. Huge dude. It's 11 miles. Fuck, I'm sorry. That's and you funny. know what makes me upset, though? Is oh. that I'm like, I'm on Instagram. Now I see like ultra marathons, like the one Ivan ran. I was like, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I don't even want to run the marathon anymore. You want to go for the ultra? Yep, just fucking skip the marathon. Like, yeah, why, why do marathons if you could drive? Just fucking do just Ironmans. Do yeah, exactly. You could do fucking. That Ice morning, Mans. that morning you did that half marathon. And I was in bed. I was like, fuck, like, look at me. Just a piece of shit. <laughs> I was like, I'm like at three in the morning. Yeah, he's up at three in the morning. I'm fucking watching porn. <laughs> well, you're running. I'm my, jerking my, off. I, I was doing my own marathon. Yeah. <laughs> my homies FaceTime me all fucked up too. And I was like heading out. He's like, where are you going? I was like to run. Oh, like they're they're like they they're, haven't even slept yet and you're waking up. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. I was like, yeah. I was come like, through. I was up for up. Damn, bro. I'll <laughs> take a quick shot before you go run. Fuck no. Let, let's run the marathon next year. You guys should. Let's go Do run it. a 5K first. A 5K? Let's see how we're at. No, yeah, Don't obviously. pay to run a 5K, no, bro. Run a 5K. Run. You run a 5K yeah. any day, bro. But next year, like next year, obviously, like from now to then, we're like doing other little races. You have 60 weeks. Start with the half marathon. But next March, 
fucking run a marathon. I'm doing it for the hoes, dead ass. Why don't you just do that's it for all yourself? I need a, that's all My I Instagram need. has gone a lot. Well, why can't really you just attention. do it for yourself? It's interesting. Why? You keep saying you've changed. What happened, man? I did change. Yeah, have you, you changed? You just said it for the ho- You just said do it for I them. changed. What is your body count as of like... Zero. Zero. <sighs> all right. I want to fact check that. Fact just, check me. Siri, fact check that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, zero. Has he fucked? You know what's funny? Last earlier, time was December I, 18th. You know how <laughs> you looked at me and you said, he, he's cooking. I started laughing. I'm like, yeah, as if like, you know, it's very normal to find someone with common interests that you have to find a good partner. Yeah, yeah. the marathon. That's my point. Yeah. Well, you saw you saying but you were was saying you were, No, you were saying it as in like, it was a, like a big, like, oh, like, it's like, no, it's just common, common, common knowledge that you would find someone. So why someone. did you say it? <laughs> Because why would I need to say it? Because I think he all he cared about was the marathon, the half marathon, rather than just hey, finding I'm a partner. About the hose. <laughs> and we're not the I same. thought he changed. I did change. What happened? I did change. I not. That's the second time you brought that up. You're just doing. A, if you're running a marathon for the hose, yeah, you'll get the hose. But you won't get your time. But, but you'll get a shitty time. And all that training will be for nothing, and you'll just be like the next. It'll be like going to a strip club, <laughs> right? You'll like you'll like, like, you'll, like you'll like end your day with that girl. And then she'll, you'll both finish the marathon, and the next day you'll be like, damn, a whole year's of practice. And yeah, I blew talking single. to this girl, and she blocked me. <laughs> and she blocked me because I was being my, weird. And my I was marathon medal doesn't mean anything. Damn. Yeah. Now, things I want to do in my lifetime are run a marathon, jump off a plane. No, fuck no. Why not? Write a book. Bro, fuck no. Like, that's one thing you cannot what? control. Yeah, you can. You control the parachute. What, what if it doesn't work? You have two. And the instructor has point? one. That's three. And the person that jumps with you doesn't jump alone. It's nah, like four. That's, in, nah, that's insane. Motherfuckers who jump I would, out of planes I would be down crazy. to do it, but it, it, it'd have to be like something super crazy. Oh, if you do it, I'll record it. Jumping down? No, but like yeah. I'll record the documentary. But I just, once you get Red on the plane, Red I'll Bull. give the camera to someone else. I'll do it. sponsor it. You'll do I, it? I've wanted to skydive before. Yeah, you'll sponsor do it. It's a scary It's a scary If you two thought. do it, we'll sponsor it. Red Bull, Red Bull sponsor it. Prime sponsor it. <sighs> I don't think I could die this soon, but I'm down. How about for the anniversary, we all go skydiving? Yeah! yeah. That's in two months, fucker! That's in two months, fucker! That's in two fucking months, fucker! Yes, no, no, fuck you, he said it, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. I thought it was like August. No, what? I'm done. No, what the fuck? I'm What's down. in August? I'm done. I'm done. No, no, this is... What would that be, our three-year anniversary? That would be three years. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, shit. This oh, is- look at that. Ooh. Fuck, Red Bull. nah. Red Bull helmet? I already see it, bro. Nah. <laughs> I don't Travis think Travis Pastrana. We all wear style. different, like, energy drink helmets to see who sponsors it. To be honest, bro, I don't think I physically can. Even You're right already now, scared. I'm scared. Because <laughs> I thought, like, fuck, two months of suck. I'm scared. He said two months of 60 days, which I, is pretty last, much a month couldn't happen. My last, my most recent nightmare. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> His magic is crazy. My most recent nightmare was skydiving. Oh, what did you dream of? I was on a... On a air a on a balloon, yeah, I was on a balloon. Those hot air balloons. Oh, that's cute. And it was my turn to jump, and I couldn't jump. That was. I feel like a hot air balloon is way scarier than an airplane. Yeah, because according I feel to like gra- a hot air balloon is just fucking wow. like, like crazy. Phys- like physics wise, like from what I've heard and like from what. Oh, I've hot learned, air balloons are just dangerous. Like I know that like the the speed of the plane plus the the fall like cancels out the speed that you feel, so you're on a free fall. But if you fall off of like something that's standing still, right, like a balloon, you straight up just drop, and you feel the drop <laughs> going. It's to like your that. Stomach. It's like the ride. It's like the the, uh, the, the drop of drop doom, of doom at like, Six Flags. You just it's like that basically. Imagine oh, you're much tough. higher. That's tough. The velocity of this way just oh, cancels oh, out. So yeah. So I heard. I've heard like jumping off a plane is just scary getting up it's there. But once you height. jump, once you jump off, no, it's not the height. Get higher. It's not the height thing. It's the difference in speed. You're starting from zero. Yeah, the physics of it, how your body's gonna feel. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure when we go up there, or if you ever when go, we go up there, when we I go. feel like it's easier to jump off out of a hot air balloon because nah. you're stationary. But nah. it's scarier as a plane. You go, your body feels exactly. That's the change that your body takes, and it just like you're you're on a free fall. Where if you fall from a balloon, you fall like a rock. But like is it free, no, but you're definitely you're gonna reach free fall. Isn't like free fall like thirty seconds? So like once you're falling for thirty seconds, you hit terminal velocity or some shit like that, and then it's you're in free fall. But that's why the plane takes. All I know is if my parents have done it, I feel like we could do it. My <laughs> parents, parents have done have it done twice. It. They've done it twice. Damn. So, I'm just saying. I'm down. I'm down too. I don't see how. Because I'm pretty crazy. sure by the time we get up there and where it's about to fall off, I'm pretty sure that's when we're like, oh fuck! Like, of course it's gonna kick in. We're like, holy shit! We're actually doing this. Why am I fucking doing this? I feel like for me, I'm gonna, gonna be the same in. way. I'm like, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. We're gonna fly up. Like, oh, cool. Like, we're up there. Once that fucking door opens, I'm just gonna be like, oh fuck. But you're like, well, it's too late to turn back now. 
Paid fine? for this shit. I don't know, bro. I don't. That'd be fun. Raul's done it. Yeah, Raul's done it. There you go. See, he's still here. He's still fucking mailing that mail. He's still your local mailman. hot mailman. Hot mailman. I ride a bull. Yeah, you rode a but bull. I would not jump out of a plane. I'll ride a bull. I want to do it again. I feel like I I'd rather bull. skydive than ride a bull. I feel like I rode a bull good, too. Mm-hmm. I feel like that shit. <laughs> I'd rather rely on the on free falling than uh, the temperament of a bull. I don't know. Maybe I'm not ready yet, but <laughs> we'll go think about it. Dude. <laughs> come on, man. What a great video that. If this be. video gets 200 likes. Um, 200 likes? <laughs> no, it's 200 kid, likes. God, no, he said it. If, if this please, video guys, gets 200 make it happen. Likes. I don't care how much you don't like this show anymore <laughs> or how much you like the other shows. Just please, for the love of God, get this 200 <laughs> likes. Come on, guys. Tell all, the, tell all your friends. Just come and like this video for no damn reason. 200 just likes. 200. No, the reason is for skydiving. No, I know, but just tell them, just please like this video. I feel like if you told people to like it so we can go skydiving, they'll like it. Oh, yeah, like it, please, so you can go skydiving. Yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. Maybe. <sighs> and I'm still doing pretty good. I'm not, I haven't drank yet. No. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm. Even if you had one day where you drank, I wouldn't be like, oh, it's like, well, okay, cool. No. Nah, the point is like restraining. I haven't really felt like I've restrained myself. I just don't go out. Yeah. I think that's really the easiest part, just not going out. Yeah, I just Once don't you, go out. I, I stopped getting FOMO. I used to get FOMO. I was like, fuck, I want to go. I was like, first, I was like, I want to go out where the hoes are at, where the hoes at. But nah, it doesn't interest me. The hoes don't interest you? Nah. I'm locked in right now more than ever. Yeah. I'm going to start Twitch. I went on Twitch yesterday. I did my first live stream. Want to see a screenshot? It's the best screenshot ever. This is what my, this is what my live stream consists of. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. What are you watching? Nicki Minaj completions. Oh, God. I'll see. I like that. <laughs> How much people are watching when you're watching that? He's by himself. <laughs> it's like, like three nah, people? No, nah, I was two. Two people were watching at that yeah. time? Oh, my God. Yeah, All yeah. beating me at the same time. <laughs> Hey, Next man. time I'm gonna live stream some porn. Stay tuned. <laughs> so, I'm about to get kicked out. <sighs> Fuck y'all go to kick. Put some kick? porn on there, yeah. What's kick? Kick. It's a streaming platform. It's another streaming platform. A lot of streamers go there now because I guess they don't like Twitch because of its um, rules and regulations. regulations and all like that. the old school kick? K I K? No, uh, no, no, it's a different kick. It's, it's like K I K I C K. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember kick? Yeah. Yeah. Kick, yeah, kick yeah, girlfriends. Yeah. Kick was um bro, you know, I met up, like I fulfilled my childhood dream. Of like sleeping with one of my kick friends. That's crazy. Because you know, how do you, kick, track, how do you track that? Well, no, because we just stayed as friends. You know how like on kick, you that's where you have your horniest conversations. The horniest of horniest. The horniest of horniest. Like <laughs> there was no reason for me to be that horny. Yeah, like ro- you. Br- it brought out like, the like, Romeo like you, in you. You, you want to see my dick in a rubber band? Yeah, like, like you. Wait, bro, <laughs> no. <laughs> but like fuck? it turned okay. into like a poet. It turned like you had like you were like you could easily written Fifty Shades of Grey type <laughs> shit. Like that is like kick was a whole different level. And it's the same girl, like a girl, like we would always like chit chat like kick. that back and forth. Yeah, whenever kick we were kick. I remember because she used to live in Florida, Florida. And, uh, in Florida. And uh, one day she hit me up with like, hey, for New Year's, I'm visiting my parents in um, in Paris, right here, Paris, the city, not the, the fucking, not, not the Europe. And I was like, and mind you, I, th- I think I was like 18. I think I was like 18 or 19. I was able to drive. That's, okay. I was fresh off like my driving license or something. Fresh off the boat. And uh, she said she's going to be there. And I was like, she's like, pull up. And that New Year's, I pulled up. I drove all the way over there. I met her in person for the first time. Was she bad? Yeah, she was cool. I mean, at the time. He was just satisfied that he finally got to see her. Yeah, at the time. I mean, no, she actually had a fat ass. That was the, probably the, fat, the first fat ass I had. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yeah. and Yo, yeah i remember your- it was new year's i spent my new year's like i didn't spend my new year's with her but i went after new year's here i went over there um i clapped some cheeks and uh went about my day i, left, <laughs> I, went, I came back home and, you talked to her still uh nah but we did we did smash again like uh probably i think like one more time and that was it but it was cool it was cool it was cool you cool experience to finally like you hook fulfilled up your dream yeah to finally have that you know because everybody's got like everybody everybody falls in love with someone on the other side of the state of the country or some shit you guys ever had those girls that cross, you're like i wish you lived lover? closer yeah cross country lover a cross country like a girl in texas that you like you just connected with so much you're like damn this girl i was so scared dope. that all these women were men so i, was, I never mm. fell in love with any i was just scared they were all pedophiles well i'm the best at catching a catfish <laughs> i was looking for a catfish more like pedophiles yeah but, I mean, I can tell if there's a fake profile or not. Oh, okay. Best. You're the best of the best. Yeah. 
Aaron, yeah. you've never, you never. He's fought. about to get tested on that one. Watch. <laughs> he, just, he just literally threw out a challenge out there. Oh, someone come catfish me. <laughs> he literally is gonna be like, I'm gonna spot it out. Someone Don't even catfish. worry about Honestly, that. If you want to catfish me, catfish me. And if you're able to catfish me, like props to you, but you're not gonna catch me. Oh shit. Oh. I'm that's, challenging you right now. Challenge go, everyone. And I would really like, honestly, like, it could get to like, if you really hold off for like two, three years, where you're like, this is the way you can get me. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. And if, it, if any of you guys do this, then I'll Why are you giving, to you. You're giving out cheat sheets now? Yeah, I'm giving you cheat sheets because none of them, they, I'm, that's how good I am. Start your Instagram account today. Don't hit <laughs> me up or anything. Just keep that going for three years. Oh my God. Hit me up in the third year. I might be able to, you might be able to get me. Don't start it today because then he'll see that you started it today. Ah, get on him. Mm. Oh, now we made it a fair game. Now we made it a fair game. But I'm really good at catching. Like I have, my eyes are trained. So like, because all all I do is look at photos all day. Like with Photoshop and everything. Like I can tell when one pixel is off. If one pixel is off, I'm calling it. Everybody... Trust me, everybody always comes up to me like tells me, "Hey, so this is, you think this page is real or fake?" I give it one couple of scrolls, I'm like, "Fake." Get this real stop. And I've been right every single time. So, yeah. did you guys know you can uh catch Photoshop documents? Catch Photoshop documents? Like if you Photoshop some documents, you can uh there's a AI processor that catches if it was photoshopped. Really? Yeah. It's new. Came out after COVID. <coughs> I learned about it. Wow. Yeah. All those fake COVID tests. <laughs> <laughs> but I learned, yeah, I so just. So I'll go to jail in three years. Why? Fake COVID tests. He was faking a lot of shit, a lot of documents. Just kidding. I wasn't doing that. All right. But um, no, yeah, I saw this program that Adobe has that you put in a picture and then it gives you a, and then it runs it through some like processor and it tells you how it was Photoshopped. And you know why it works or how it works? Why? The metadata. So let's say photos are all pixels, right? It says dot, 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 dots. So you have this picture that's dot, 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 dots. And you want to put this picture on top of this picture. But these dots are kind of aligned kind of differently. So once you put that, you're putting these dots, even though like to the naked eye, it looks perfect. But the pixels, like the metadata of the dots, they're kind of off. They're off. Oh, okay. Instead of being like this, they're like off by a little bit. Uh-huh. And the processor is just goes super deep into the meta- metadata and sees if there's any uh any like crooked lines or if anything's off. Oh wow! And it catches it like that. And I'm like, oh shit! So I'm trying to find a way of, like around that. Keep you guys updated. But why? Because I just I like beating the computers. That's why. Not for anything else. Not for any other illegal activities. All these checks are fake. Let me know if you guys need an ID. <laughs> Good. But yeah, so that's that. And that's what I learned this past week. Stop photoshopping documents. Mm. Nice. For any people, I want to help you guys because yeah, you guys can get fucked like that. So there's process. There's and it's so easy to download too. Anybody can just download it. Really, it's free. Yeah, I don't know if it's free, but it's on Adobe. Well, no, because it's on Adobe. But if you have Creative Cloud, you can uh, you have access to it. So that's like what a couple like seventeen dollars a month. Just geeking out right now. Yeah, I'm being sorry. A nerd with your smart water. Think it makes you <laughs> that's smart? what I've been. Yeah, that's why I've been geeking smart? out because I'm drinking my smart water. Prime makes some fucking uh, 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 fucking like a crackhead but, coked out. Smart uh, water gives my brings my nerd out of me. Yeah, we bring the Hennessy out next. <laughs> He's getting horny. Are men more romantic than women? You know, like a little cute thing in the background. It was like a cute little novella, and I was like, low key. Would you would you would you want to date a romantic woman? Yes, dog. I'm telling you right now. I'm head ass. Uh-huh. I'm head ass as fuck. But I just have no one to give that head ass to. You don't know who to give that head to? Or the ass to. <laughs> what do you mean with the lover girl? But, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, that'd be cool, man. Yeah. Do you yeah. think women are, no, you think men are more romantic than women? Uh, I think uh, naturally we are, but we've just been so damaged and so hurt uh, by these women uh, yeah. <laughs> that we don't want to feel vulnerable again. That's why we're not romantic. Because I remember when I was in middle school, bro, if you saw my kick paragraphs I was sending to these women, it's fucking <laughs> Romeo and Juliet up in this whole, like, Romeo Shakespeare, like, sending this cute-ass shit. And I was like, damn, like, I used to be super romantic. I used to be super head-ass. You know what killed it? A girl called me cheesy one time. You're cheesy? And after that, 
ended everything, ruined it for all the other girls. I'm like, I never, I'm never doing this shit. Why would you, like, why would you let one girl? Because it's stupid. I never uh, want to feel like that ever again. <laughs> you felt, uh, you felt was, like, you yeah. felt shame off. Yeah, I was like, damn, am I cheesy? That is, that's fucking. That yeah, is pretty that sucky. feeling that you but get you should when never, you're like 13 is crazy like that that like negative like oh yeah. you shouldn't yeah. like, like you're girl, squirmy yeah, yeah you yeah. shouldn't like one girl just ruin it for the well, for did. any other girls that deserved it and now every girl has to pay for it uh, all right uh, but yeah that's what i yeah i used to be very romantic i used to, i used to be head ass and then i got called cheesy in what way do you think men are more romantic though then that way like i feel like as i'm like like myself like if I show up to like my girlfriend's house, I usually never show up empty handed. Show up with like flowers or something. Mm. Like that's like that goes that's me going kind of out of my way. Or like I thought about you. <coughs> that that's what I feel like is more romantic mm -hmm. than like I don't know. Yeah. I feel like dude. Like why why is why is my Valentine's Day gift pussy? Yeah. I wanted <laughs> like I wanted I wanted something else. My, my the perfect Valentine's gift would be acts of kindness or acts of service leading up to valentine's day because it's not romantic if it's on valentine's day because it's expected you already expect right? it yeah and like like you're expecting something on valentine's i like day. i like i don't know do you like the girls that don't like valentine's day or the girls that do like valentine's day i like girls who like valentine's i like you like, like being head ass i like being head ass like i like the show with the i want to go i want to go to disneyland valentine's day or whatever they call oh it. yeah i want to sweethearts night Sweet, i want to go to sweethearts night yeah you don't like disneyland but i want to go to sweethearts sweethearts night. night is different yeah. though it's just yeah. you're holding hands that's not just group. valentine's day though you can go you can start i think this week or next week but it's like for valentine's day they don't do it at halloween yeah, but like I want to experience that. I'm just saying, there's sweethearts night like since starting next week too. Yeah, but I still, I want to experience that. Like he's I, never I, done I it. I fuck with that. No, I'm just saying though, because you said you didn't like Disneyland, so. Nah, I, I mean, we should go to sweethearts night for Hans's birthday on Valentine's Day. We should. <laughs> we should. Brolentines, boys. Brolentine. Brolentines. Do, do men not get a Valentine's? We get a Brolentines. Yeah. They should definitely make a holiday that's a Valentine's for men. Where we all give men love. Yeah. Brotherly love. What do you think that day would be like? St. Patrick's Day. We should turn St. <laughs> Patrick's Day into a man's holiday. Be like, oh, St. Patrick's Day. We, let me give my man a gift. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> let me give my boy a gift. Does that make sense? St. <laughs> Patrick. That whole night is just filled with men out in the bars. Yeah, like it makes it like this is the day where I give my man a gift and I leave him alone. Just leave me alone to go hang out with the boys at a bar. What did that make? That's a cool holiday, holiday for a man. A man yeah, you go holiday. to a sports bar with some nice titties in your face. <laughs> of course, locos. Serving you beer. Yeah. Oh, those locos. <laughs> oh, those locos. I think that's a perfect idea. I think from now on, St. Patrick's Day should be a man's holiday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll celebrate the marathon. Wow. Just yeah, take, a, take a poster that says that. Yeah. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day is a, a man's, man's holiday. holiday. You'll get a lot oh, of laughter. God. If that's what's... If you had to think about all the holidays, because Valentine's Day is for the women. For Valentine's the girls, is no? for the women. I don't care what y'all say. It's for the women. Yeah, it's for the women. We don't like, have a holiday. Father's Day. <laughs> you have Father's to but then there's Mother's Day. Yeah. So and it doesn't matter. And then Mother's Day, the, the the restaurants are full. Father's yeah. Day, everyone's cooking. So so far, oh. the women are beating us with a holiday. Father's Day. They're they're at the cookouts cooking themselves. <laughs> 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 wow. I love that joke on Father's Day. It's the, always funny. The closest one to being a man's holiday are. Um, how about we think about <laughs> Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah. Think, the, nah, Super the, the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is a man's holiday. But it's not the a, World Series. I don't think it is anymore. I feel like any sports final like Taylor Super Bowl, took over. the NBA Finals, the World Series, the World Cup, the Euros. Nah, the World Cup is everyone's. Yeah, the Swifties took over the Super Bowl. That's their Super so, Bowl. Oh, so we're gonna get into Thank that God, actually. We won't we're gonna see get her. into that. They got actually. eliminated. We won't see her. No, 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 no. We're gonna get into that right now. But sorry, so keep going. Sorry. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is what I think. I think these are the gayest holidays. <laughs> what? Easter. <laughs> Yo, came out of nowhere. Oh, what the? What the fuck? What happened there? East, Easter is a religious holiday. What do you mean it's gay? I know it is. Our love to to Easter, but. From the outside looking in, like if I was an alien and y'all gave me all these holidays on a list and I just see all the colors, I see all the themes, but, you would think like, oh, this is probably like LGBTQ <laughs> holiday. Everyone knows Super Bowl's coming up, right? Coming up you know, soon. I guess if you're well, an actual football fan. If you're watching this, it comes out a couple of days after. Or No, it's still before the right Super before? Bowl. Before? Yeah, yeah, it's still, still before. Because the Super Bowl is February 11th. A lot of people, a lot of like actual football fans who are not Chiefs fans, 
are really like basically everyone is going for the Ravens to beat the Chiefs in the in the championship game, right? Uh, the AFC championship game. Um, because right now, of course, you know it's gonna be Lions um, versus the Four Niners in the NFC, and then um, Ravens and um, Chiefs in the Chiefs. AFC. I think I got that right. When is that? I got this at the conferences, right? right? I want to watch yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. So the reason why is because I guess real football fans are just they don't like the Chiefs because they're always usually in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. One. Two, a lot of people like to hate on Mahomes. I guess three, now people are starting to hate on Travis Kelsey because of his relationship with, with Taylor Swift because they're just annoyed that every time they play, She's Travis Swift, Taylor Swift is there and they always depend the camera turn. And, and real football fans are like, who gives a fuck about her? We're watching the damn game. That's what they're saying. That's what they, like, I've seen so much TikToks now and YouTube shorts that are just... People are just like, please, Raven, save us. It's like, please, so Lamar. Please, Lamar Jackson, save us. Like, they're just desperate that the Ravens win. So it's, I a, think so it's a new Super Bowl, a new a new team in the Super Bowl, and that they just don't want, like, a bunch of fake fans watching um, and just, you know, parading the Super Bowl, I guess. I but that's, like you, every Super Bowl is always filled uh, with fake like, people that don't even watch exactly. the, the all year anyways. Yeah. But I guess the whole point is because they just don't want the Chiefs to, there in the first place. Because they're always there. They're always there. And two, because they just don't like Taylor Swift, I guess. Uh -huh. And three, I guess they think that the Chiefs is, itself, the team, are, like, very, like, cringy and corny and just, like, just they're, like, mainly just a TikTok team, I guess yeah. you could call them. And I guess the inclusion of the whole Taylor Swift fan base there kind of like gets them like, oh man, fuck this team. Mm. Like, and they just want, like, they, basically, the, the, the two teams that are mainly like gaining like the most support from both sides is the Ravens and the Lions. Lions, because they have not been in the playoffs for so, so many years. And they would like, and they're just a fun team to watch. They're a yeah. likable team. <clears throat> and then I guess the 49ers, 49ers get a lot of hate. The 49ers? Yeah. They do get a lot of hate. 49 gangbang. And then, um, yeah, so the 49ers and Chiefs do, are getting a lot of hate, and they just want a Ravens-Lions Super Bowl. And I guess, like, everyone's, like, basically saying, come on, Ravens, come on, Lamar Jackson, save us from a fucking Chiefs Super Bowl again. Yeah, and that is true. Yeah. I th I yeah, I wouldn't want the Chiefs back again, even though Taylor Swift would be cool. Um... That would be the biggest Super Bowl of Taylor Swift. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Swift for ratings? For ratings? Yeah. yeah. Um, 1% she'll be there if they're there, of course. And she does the halftime show? Nah, it's Usher this year. They can't afford her. It's Usher. <laughs> they can't yeah, afford right. her. She's like, nah. Oh, they can definitely afford her. Nah. <laughs> nah. Really? Not a, nah, they can't afford Taylor Swift. They can't afford Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a, a game that gets billions of dollars, sure. Okay. Nah, but nice. The NFL that generates billions on billions kidding, of dollars. Bro. Playing. Nah, man. It's such no. a <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing. I think it's kind of like one of the Taylor where the line's kind of like it's kind of like a no. I don't. I don't hate Taylor Swift. I'm just saying. Detroit. I just I've been seeing lately that everyone just like like basically like just I guess they're like the Ravens are the saviors. They're I guess the supposed saviors for actual football fans or whatever. And like besides if you're a Chiefs fan, of course. I'm a Chiefs fan. That's cool, man. And the Ravens are from Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore, yeah. Oh, that's a cool Baltimore, Mar Maryland. Maryland. I like when you put Kansas City Chiefs on Google. The first player that comes up is. Travis Swift? Kelsey. Oh, yeah. No. Obviously. Before it was Patrick Mahomes, but now it's Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Because yeah. he's. Taylor Swift made him TBH. Yeah. I thought it was sad that people were like, he's been asked this season, supposedly. I'm like, I don't. I, mean, I probably had a fab, few bad games, but yeah. not ass. But I guess because how can you drop this and show one a picture of his ex? And I guess his ex had like a fatty on her. Mm -hmm. like she had a fat ass. He went from that to this, and it was showing a picture of Taylor Swift. And I was like, that's kind of. I mean, I not, I dropped my girl for Taylor Swift. I was like, that's kind you of. You drop your girl for Taylor bro. Swift? Any girl you had? Yeah. Any girl? Taylor Swift, bro. Any girl? Yeah. Why though? It's Taylor Swift. I'm a fucking clout digger. Okay, that's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I thought you meant for like sentimental reasons. <laughs> I love her. I Personal you... personality nah, reasons. Nah, I, I thought kidding. it reminded you of your childhood. I was kidding, or but th that's what the the whole thing with Ariana Grande and the SpongeBob dude did. SpongeBob dude left his wife for Ariana Grande to Cloud Chase. I don't know. Probably you know Ariana. Yeah, Ariana. I don't know why he did that to himself. He's gonna he's gonna become a fucking thank you next. Yeah, he definitely is gonna become. A, he's if he thinks, it's gonna, but I mean also you know if you see how he looks like, he's kind of dweeby. And I, he's never had that type of caliber of win, a woman. So, of course, he's like, it's like if a porn star, like if Lisa Ann comes up to you. Like if you had a girlfriend, right? Mm -hmm. And Lisa Ann's trying to fuck, would you break it's up with your girlfriend? Though. You're just fucking not game with her. No, nah, but you really think the SpongeBob dude sees love in Ariana Grande? You think they really fall in he love? He probably thinks that. Who's Which is fine, because what if they do like each other? What? They probably do like each other. Lo lo nah. I'm just thinking, I'm just, I'm just saying like. 
Why can't it's, love it's, cut all it's the boundaries? It's proven. It's proven history that she's done it before. So like, you don't think he might be another person? Do you know what uh, Tom Kenny is? That his name? Tom Kenny, the voice actor for SpongeBob. Yes. Oh no, he sounds like SpongeBob. Oh no, that's not him. No, he he does the uh, I guess the musical of SpongeBob. He plays the, mu- the SpongeBob, like the real like the live action musical. Uh huh. That's who. That's who. So he is. Oh, Ethan Slater. So he sounds like him. Well, I'm I guess. guessing he oh. has to. Yeah, so he, to sound I like him. Does the, uh, this is Ethan Slater. Um, Someone said that he they like he looks exactly what we thought he would. And I was like, that's <laughs> right, fu- me, that is see. so let fucked up. See. Oh my god, it was. <laughs> oh, me, dude, like, why does he actually look like what SpongeBob would look like in person? Imagine that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, come on, like you. He's not an ugly you gotta, dude. You, yes, he's he not an ugly yes, dude. Yes, he is. <sighs> Don't cap. Okay. All right. Well, you know, there's beauty in anything. I feel like there's I, beauty in anything. I feel like women don't don't care about how you look sometimes. But Ariana Grande, she she is what she does, bro. She has a she does this stuff. She knows what she's doing. I mean, blues is coming. honestly me next, Ariana. Like me next. Like thank you next and me me next. Thank you next. Me next. I'm gonna make a song dedicated to her called Call- Me Next. <laughs> me next. Yeah. <laughs> me next, please. <laughs> please. Yeah. So. Oh, please. That's, that's how next. he looks in the. Yeah. How oh, interesting. So Do like, see this play. All right. So same situation. Ariana Grande. I mean, uh, Lisa. Lisa Ann. Ann. She's trying to fuck. Like, let's say you're doing a show. You got picked up to do a show. Co-host Lisa Ann, and y'all just and you have a girlfriend, <laughs> but you and Lisa Ann like y'all creating some chemistry. Are you gonna break up with your girlfriend for Lisa Ann? Are you gonna fuck Lisa Ann? From 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 experience. You know what? From no, I, I feel honestly, like I'm no. experience. You say no straight because you leave her on the you leave her hanging, and then once you break up with your girlfriend, it's gonna happen. Straight up, if my girlfriend doesn't let me fuck Lisa Ann, that's a fake ass girlfriend. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Okay, what, what, if, what if it's flipped and what if it's her no. and John and Johnny Smith? Or Johnny, Sins. John, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Smith. Smith. Who the fuck is Johnny Smith? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to. Bro, them. my uh, that girl I used to talk to. I don't even know. I don't call her my ex, but twenty twenty girl. Her her Lisa Ann was um Johnny Sins. Johnny Sins. You see what she you, only watched this porn. The man of all trades. Yeah. Uh, so would she you was in love? Uh, so with would you Sins. let it happen? That's my wife's doctor. And she fucks Johnny <laughs> Sins, and I fuck Lisa Ann. I think so. I'm gonna let that happen. You sure? Yeah, I'm gonna let that happen. You sure? Yeah. You won't. I couldn't. You couldn't? No. If you had a fuck, who's your favorite person? I've, I've seen, I've seen Johnny Sin's dick, bro. No, I compete. That <laughs> damn, that's a big. That, Johnny Sin's like, <laughs> yeah, but she's also talking bigger than that too. But bro, damn, it's your childhood dream. She's probably talking that. So you Riley would, Reed. So okay, you Riley Reed. Ah, oh, really? that made it harder. You rather do that? Yes. Hey, that's his preference, that's bro. Every, every fine, girl's fine. beautiful. What happened to that, yeah, dog? Yeah, yeah. Unless she's a porn star, no, I'm she's saying, not a girl. What? We're like, we're, <laughs> hey, we're talking about like, why like, you call her we're, that? Talk, we're talking about like fucking uh, like, have you like seen child, it? like childhood. Fuck, that sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> but like, who did you watch when you were eight years old? <laughs> no, no, not that. No, no, but like, we're talking about like when you were my neighbor when you first started <laughs> to do it. I just think the more legendary one here is Lisa Ann. The more legend, yeah, but that's not what I want. Yeah, he wants. Okay, my bad, preference. bro. My bad, my bad. But yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't want to break up with my girlfriend. Yeah, just, I wouldn't yeah. do that. Because when I'm like, what if you don't even leave her satisfying, bro? Because she's been through a lot of things. As long man. as I get satisfied, right. just oh, who knows quick. if you even get satisfied? <laughs> my childhood would. What if you? What if you like nuts super quick and then you're like, damn, all so, this for nothing? I let my girl fuck Johnny Sins if she lets me fuck Violet Myers. Violet and then Myers. she's gonna be like, not the same. I don't care. I'm like, I think I did it. You know? What if she starts watching more Johnny Sin sport? Yeah, she's gonna be more often. Why can't you do that? She starts playing it while you're hitting it. And I'm like, why don't you squirt? Because <laughs> huh? you that. don't make me. <laughs> so I don't know. I'll see what's up. I'll think about it. <laughs> so would you do it? Yes or no? You said yes. So Soul's next girlfriend. I'm gonna say no. I'll say no. You'll say no? Yeah. Nah. I'm a changed man, dude. It's gonna be very hard to say no because you're like, yeah, this is someone that you looked at when a lot of I'll tell her like spit in my hand a lot of love <laughs> a just... lot of you, I mean you imagine you'd say girl come on she got me through a lot of lonely nights before I met you I'll just be like spit in my hand and give me five minutes and that's it I want you, you just on look her. at her just just her spit in my hand and then I'll do the rest don't worry I feel like just 
Let me look at you. Let me just look at you. Let me just feel your hair. All right. Oh, uh, what the f damn. Okay. Just give me a strand of your hair. All you did was, all you need Let is Let me hair? get a mold of your pussy. <laughs> That's all I need. I think you they know sell they sell those. those. They sell those. Yeah, they're those. like 70 bucks, I'm going to get you guys. Damn, man. how do you know the price? Because it used to be 50 <laughs> and I waited too long to buy one. <laughs> the Riley Reed has one. Yeah, Riley Reed does yeah, have one. I know she has one. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, man, but you do your research. That's all good, man. All right, but now we're going to get into our new, our new segment, our, our, our favorite segment called Take the Mic. You guys don't know what that is. It's a segment here where we give you guys the mic and we answer and we give you guys advice on anything you guys want. And we're here to, you know, we're here to just talk with you guys. So, uh, I'm going to shave my mustache. I like it. It looks good. Mm. Everybody down below, let us know if the mustache looks good on Caesar. I don't like it no more. It's cool. I could see it now from like that. That's the part you gotta get used to. Sometimes you can feel it right here. And yeah, and you do that, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just I literally it. forgot you had a mustache. See? Because it not so used it to fits. Because it. It, it fits. Yeah. Okay. How do you guys like, feel about um Caesar's new mustache? I think I'm gonna have to shave it for the photo shoot though. No, yeah. leave it. All right. You swear like it's like if you shave like no one's gonna recognize me. Yeah, bro, they'll still recognize you. Yeah, and if you like I can even just photoshop the mustache off, like in a couple months if you don't want it, but hey, just photoshop it. Mustache gone. Peel it. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're going to start it's with a, the... It's like an editor where it's just actually it just actually peels it off. He's actually like shaving, it into like the, he's shaving it through like the computer. Like... <laughs> the next one, I have a little picture with a little cut. Because he, did, he didn't get off. He fucks you over and gives you the... Can't, can't the nine. The, 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 yeah, the nine. The, nine. Yeah. the Charlie Chaplin. All right. Well, Charlie first... Chaplin, thank you. The Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We'll call it that. The first take, the mic. Here we go. I posted a while uh, a while back... About wanting to ask a girl for my number, a girl for my number, but my classmate got to her first. I remember this oh, one. Yeah, I remember this one. one. I remember this one. Walking her to her car. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Now it's a new semester and the classmate that attempted isn't here anymore. Oh, yes. God. I see this cute ass girl studying in the same building I work in. I work in the marketing department. How should I raise her up to give you a nice description? She's petite, dark brown hair with the most adorable face. I've ever seen. Pretty sure she's an angel. She's uh -huh. a business major. So she dresses semi-formal to school. This woman can take my heart. Damn. Give it to her king. Give you her, her your full heart. You know what you should do? I got an idea. It's toxic. I already You're a marketing it. major, right? Or does he just work there? I work in the marketing department. He just works there. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. All he right. has to do something similar. No, why would you? How do studying you in the raise same building. her up? Okay, let me see. How do you raise a? a She's girl? a business major. Let's talk business. You don't you just, talk business Riz, with her. Rizzo would have been funny or something. Her business people, the people in her class aren't that funny. This is what you do. Is what you do. This is all what about you do. Is business. Nah, you're gonna yeah. plot. You're gonna plot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, check out what book she's reading. Find that book. Read that book really fast. Become an Go expert. on Spark Notes. <laughs> Learn about that book. Then. You accidentally pass by her and you see she's reading the book you're reading. And you're like, oh my God, I love that book. I actually just got done reading it. Or I'm actually on this chapter. What do you think about this part? And she's going to fall in love. Girls love guys who read books. Trust. That's all you got to do. But if that's too much effort, um, <laughs> go up to her and um, just call her. Go up to her and be like, did you fart? No, yeah. <laughs> give her a compliment. Yeah, give her a compliment. Blew me away. Because it smells over there. <laughs> Ooh, you gonna get in her head? Are you gonna say? Are you gonna say? If you ever come across face to face to her, if you guys are walking by, all you're gonna say is, "Hey, nice shirt," and keep it pushing. That's it. Good job, Drake and Josh. That's it. Where <laughs> I got it from? Yeah. That's you know, it. You're gonna be you got that head. mom, Riz. Yeah. You're going to be in her head. You're going to be in her head. I like that throwback. Hmm. How would I raise her up? Yeah, how would you raise up this business major? <sighs> Honestly, I, I just say hi. Mm -hmm. Like, hi, my name is Caesar. I saw you. Like, Wait, they have a same class, right? They, did they say they had a same class together No, he works in that building where she is going to class or something. You usually go up to him and be like, hey, I work here in case you need anything. I know some Have spots. you ever went up to a girl and said like, hi, my name is Caesar? Yeah. It works? Yeah, but it, it worked at the Halloween party. It worked everywhere. 
Just hi, my name's. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just saying hi, my name's Caesar. Nice to meet you. Uh -huh. And then we just start catching up. Yeah, like, what do you know at this party? I feel like some of the best approaches just keeping it casual. Uh, like uh, if you're not it, trying to hit on them, like you're just keeping it casual. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to hit on them right away. Yeah, yeah. I hit on them like ten minutes, like not even ten minutes, like maybe two, three minutes later. Like make mm. make sure that they kind of know, like you know, what's up. But yeah, yeah hi, my name's Caesar. I've never started a, a riz up. Like, I've always just say some random shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I I, I get nervous saying some random shit. So mine's I more get nervous direct. just saying like, "Hi, my name is Saul." Because then where do I go after that? Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, how's your day going? Is I don't know. It just doesn't. Because then it follows by like a compliment or something, or like if you're at a house party, you're like, "Oh, who do you know here?" It just depends on the environment. You just gotta adapt to it. Yeah. What do you What do you say? I just say like, "What's up?" A conversation that can uh, a mid conversation to pick up, like. Um, just like Come whatever down. is going on, be like, oh, like yeah, like for example, the book one, like oh, it's a good book. I actually just got done reading chapter two. Oh, really? What would you think about it? Oh, I just really feel like the way he portrays himself in this book is like different than what people uh, bring him out to be. And they're like, oh wow, I thought the same thing. Yeah, well, keep me updated on how you, when you finish the chapter. Right, but, shit like that. Okay, but <laughs> what are you doing if it's just if it's if it's not even a scenario like that? It's just a quick one. It's like <clears> like never, if I see her, I've never done one. I've never done this before. Uh huh. It's more like a you see someone and you're walking and you walk past them. And they're like, yo, I think it was pretty. But I'm going to go say hi. Do you, like, well, how else are you going to say hi? Yeah, so other, honestly, without just being like, He hi, sees her every Caesar. day while she studies. That's why I said How are you going to go up to her while she's studying? Like, she's not reading the book. Exactly. She's studying. So what are you going to tell her? He I, works there. You could just be like, I've just seen you around and I just want to say hi. Like, hey, I usually just it. always see you Should studying here honest? when I, I work. I just want to say hi. I think we're making it too complicated. I think just got to do what we just, we just, just said. We just said it right now. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's the easiest way for him because she's going to pass through their regardless might as well like maybe they even like have seen each and other if he knows they don't say hi if he yeah. knows he's a business major to be like what type of business are you trying to get into like what do you see yourself doing he could just introduce himself just introduce yourself yeah. and then the rest but i'm saying follows. the combo is going to continue and since she if, likes business if, if, and she's a business major if, if a, talk about what she likes and why yeah. she's even doing but if, if a girl likes you you don't even have to be that like persistent what if he just wants hi? to know if he really likes this girl he probably wants to know but about some, her some girls are also like also uh power also like tip don't give all your no tip girls are also shy girls are also nervous girls also have crushes so if you go up to this girl no way and she's like and she kind of like standoffish maybe she was just nervous as well maybe she was shy you cut yeah. it off because i like trust like even girls i've seen that on twitter all the time when girls talking about like why doesn't he come up to me and the whole time they're like and then she's like oh my resting bitch face type shit so just remember girls get nervous too like just just introduce yourself i don't believe to you yeah Say hello. That's a that's a fairy tale. Say hello. All right, next one. Also, oh, I know. Much love. Keep being you guys. Also, hi Caesar. You're cute, but wish you weren't a fuck boy. I I am not. <laughs> I am not. I am not. <laughs> the way he said it. I am not. I am not. I have given away those like wrong ways. Maybe honestly. it's some things that you've said. Well, I could say what I want to say. It doesn't mean it doesn't matter. Then why would you say it? Because I don't have to do it. You could say something really bad and then not do it. I'm just letting you know from her perspective, maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe I broke her heart and she's just commenting shit. Yeah. Well, for sure. Broke your heart, huh? Um, sorry. For anybody trying to fall in love with us. We're not. Pod, we're locked in. I'm so sorry. I'm not. You can fall in love with me. Um, <laughs> Just know. He's not going to fall in love with you. I'm not going to fall in love, though. But just know our persona is a little bit more, more amplified for the show. So if you hear me say some fuckboy shit. I'm not a fuckboy. I'm just pretending to be a fuck boy right right what i'm just listening to you talk man jesus <laughs> if, anyone, if anyone's a fuck boy here now it's aaron it's aaron and we'll talk about that on the patreon <laughs> we'll talk because right, we'll oh, i don't even want to talk i don't even want aaron to. makes me mad bro yeah, it makes me feel single what was it that he told us the other day i was talking about like five different dates and i was like damn i'm good like i don't have one yeah like, he's like oh so wait crazy. no he's like oh wait you guys aren't talking to girls or he said something i was like yeah i was like yeah my bad he said y'all he said i'm gonna go work out with four girls oh and after that, i'm gonna go eat it with this other girl oh <laughs> yeah. just go follow he comes back from Vegas with like six girls, goes to the gym a couple of days later with like four, three girls. Four girls, bro. <sighs> Well, there's a girl waiting in his car right now to finish. The car is cold. <laughs> you guys are so dumb. He gave her a little blanket, like a towel. They're on my friends. Yeah, they're on oh, my God. friends. That's what I used to tell my girlfriends. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Jesus uh, Christ, man. Next one. So Chicago Sueños 2020-2024 lineup uh -huh. just dropped. I'll fly y'all out. 
It's so, a lot of talking. There's not enough doing. And you the flyers do are just send us the ticket to just, the plane just, just and the ride us. and the ticket to the yeah, venue. DM and us or something. Show us some proof. Yeah. Fly us out. What the heck is 2020, 2020, 2024? That's what he says. That's what I say. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's Chicago sending you? That's a festival. Uh-huh. All right. Hey, guys. I hope you guys have an amazing I'm day. I'm having a horrible day. I would like your opinion Fly on a guy out. giving a girl flowers, even though they're not <laughs> together. I made a new friend back in September at school. We have the same class, but I only get to see him once or twice a week. We joke around and get along well, but we never talk outside of school. One time, me, him, and a mutual friend of ours were talking about how, they're either, how they've either received or given flowers to their past partner. I had mentioned that I, never, that I have never received flowers. The week after, he had that conversation my guy friend shows up with flowers as part of my Christmas present, along with the other stuff. I'd like to mention that me and my friends, including him, were doing Secret Santa, and I was his Secret Santa. To be honest, I was surprised that he showed up with flowers. Do you guys think it was just a kind gesture, or it means something else? Ooh, I, I think it. Uh, oh, it depends on your friend. Depends on the color of the flowers. If you want to go digging that deep, yes. But I mean, if I don't really have female friends, like Aaron, I've never given a female friend flowers, but and I have many. But what but if yeah, he just what if he just did out of kindness? But I because give, he, I wouldn't give my female friends flowers either. Yeah, because this is the thing. Hold on, this is the thing. Flowers mm-hmm. sig- signifies love, right? So for me to give someone flowers, like I have some type of crush on them. That's why I think the color of the flowers is very important. Because if it's a if they're red roses, Actually, that's straight up love. I'm lying. I've given my friends flowers, my homegirls flowers, for no reason. For like. And what if he heard that convo was like, oh, that's 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 kind of crazy. So like he was like, he just did like, you know, here's your first flowers. Yeah, it's like a nice little Christmas present. But why would he want to do that? Why would he want to create that lasting impression on her to be like, I was the first one to ever give her flowers. He's a good friend. Some Some people are just good friends, bro. I don't know, man. And and you might be right. Maybe he does have a crush on her. I think he has a crush on you. But also, we can't just fully just say, oh, he has a crush on her. Yeah, it's like fifty fifty. We 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 really can't describe this one because I'm giving my homegirl flowers. Because like it's kind of like a oh you. You've never gone flowers. Oh, let me let me do that yeah. as a part of your secret Santa gift. Yeah, yeah and like they're like, so easy. Like they're everywhere then, too. So like, like anywhere. Like that doesn't count as getting flowers. Like you want to get flowers from like the crush or the person you're dating. You the flowers have to have like substance, right? If you say oh, I never had flowers, and I'm gonna give you flowers. I'm only giving you flowers because you said you never had flowers. I feel like I'd have, and there's really no substance. I feel like I was on as me saying like. Here's I your feel first like if my homegirl gave me flowers, I'd really like that. Yeah, you guys are weird. Weird um, beard. I was gonna give you flowers for your birthday, but I was running good. late. <laughs> I was gonna stop by and grab your little sunflowers. I'm like, here good you thing go. you did it. I was gonna do it. You'd have, like, have been like, what the fuck is this? What his face was gonna say. I'd be like, what? Like, I was gonna you, record it. And I was gonna like, forgot. what do you you like me? Now? I think. What happened there? I don't know. I just disconnected. Uh, oh, I think um, <laughs> oh. he has a little crush on you. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. What was the gift? Because question: what When you, you gave you? the girl flowers, did you get flowers? Be cut for her, or did you have extra flowers and you gave them to her? Extra flowers. There you go. <laughs> you didn't have to give it to her though. Yeah, that's true. No, but you didn't. This dude thought of her, be like, oh, she's never had flowers. Let me go get her flowers for her. That's true. Either I think, it could have been sto- a layup for him. You know what, Aaron? You like, have fuck yeah. You have thousands of homegirls. Why haven't you given any of them flowers? Oof. Never thought of. I've given it. I've given Aaron's homegirls more flowers than he has. He, <laughs> hey, he got him. Got him. Yeah. Bow. Actually, I have given I have given my homegirls flowers. That's actually bullshit. I, how many yeah. flowers have you given your homegirls? And I'll tell you how many flowers I've given your homegirls. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to compare, bro. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So you're giving your homegirls flowers? I have. Yeah. Trying to smash? No. See, it's cool. It's just nice. It's a nice gesture. You got you saw flowers like oh I'm gonna give them to this girl or did you have extra flowers? And you gave I've them given to like at the like at the same time. Like a like pimp. Where, no, did you motherfucker no. <laughs> you I feel like you you talk about flowers at the club. <laughs> yeah. No, not at the count, club. Bro. You spent like idiot. You spent like no. ninety dollars on ten on nine flowers. I feel like a girl gave you her flowers and you gave them to your homegirls and you But I'm saying you got a bouquet for a friend. <gasps> Like let's Never, say right, right now you're gonna go visit your homegirl when you pick up flowers. Oh to- no, no! But that was for Christmas. It's like it's like special occasion. Maybe it's their birthday, Christmas. or maybe like yeah, like. Would you something. get them red, red color, red, red roses? I'll get them you would try to stay straight away from red. That's I what think I'm so. So that's what I'm saying. You gotta give me what color was they? What color were they? Yeah. Mm. That's what I'm saying if they're blue, 
white, green, something nice, you know. One time when I when I when I like I went back out with my ex girlfriend, like Uh the very first one, like when we got like back together talking. I remember I picked up flowers that were white. Then I I chose white because I was like I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, you see, yeah, yeah. And she told me she was like I told my sister or her cousin that you're gonna get me flowers. She was like that's how much predictable you are. It's kind of a lover boy. It's a lover boy. Oh, oh you a lover boy. It was an apology though. Uh-huh. Each flower counting for a body. <laughs> 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 I slept with seven girls. Here are seven roses. That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I get the girl when she says she's just a fuck boy. <laughs> Yo, this one's nice. I was like 19, yo. All right, let's see what this says. I want some of your cake. Yeah, I'm low key. I'm down to get some. <laughs> All right, next one. My girl's celebrity crush is Saul. <clears throat> How about now? <laughs> what if I do that? <clears throat> Cringe. I like giving girls icks. <laughs> my like girl kept bugging to, to know who my celebrity crush is, and my hot pass would be. And I finally told her that it would be Selena Gomez. Then you guys are both Gomez's? That's kind of crazy. I was trying to be smart and choose someone that looked like her. I didn't tell her that, but it made sense. So she doesn't think I have another type. Smart. Well, smart then man. this girl gets all upset either way. And she tells me her celebrity crush hot pass would be Saul from IE Network. I'm not mad. I think it's funny. She's trying to make me jealous since she's upset. <laughs> but I have to say, shout out to you guys for being celebrity status now. I'm not saying you can fuck my girl. <laughs> but I think it's sick that you guys are making it big. I've been listening since episode, episode Down Bad, episode two. That's right. Yeah. What's up, what's up? Yeah, shout fuck out yeah. to you. You know what, bro? You're my celebrity crush. Like, I want to have sex with you. <laughs> like, not your girl. Damn. Like, you're the one I want. You're the one that I want. That's He's smart crazy. though. He he really said my girl looks like Selena Gomez, so I'm gonna go. Maybe safety. also that's probably what triggered it because you said Gomez, and then so that triggered me into oh, the conversation. Really? You know, yeah. he um, has to watch I and Friends separately from his girlfriend now. Yeah. So does she watch this too, or what? Because that means she just heard this conversation that you wrote. <laughs> she probably just botches Bono with him. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I don't beat around the bush on this one. Damn. <laughs> I read the comments. Damn. I read the comments, guys. With hate. I read the comments. All right, so um, I, I appreciate the uh, thank you. Yeah, we're working hard here. Appreciate it. Thank that's an honor. I can be someone celebrity crush. <laughs> You're like thank God. Some can... girl told me I was a celebrity crush, and we fulfilled that. Damn. Yo, that one's crazy. No, that's crazy. Stop. Stop. You Stop fulfilled you someone's say fucking fantasy. That's that's. He was. Uh... I like that. Give me skin. <laughs> don't give him skin, skin for that one. Trust me. Don't give him skin for that one. <laughs> Why not? Why? Ooh. No. Oh, you hate it. I hate it. Why? Yeah, she's crazy. Just don't give him skin. Him... That one. I'm confused. Why? 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 Don't yeah. give him skin. Why not? That he was... gave her some skin. I gave him some skin. He gave her some foreskin. He gave her skin. Exactly. Next one. Yo, what's up, guys? Just wanted to tell you guys that I love you guys. Y'all make my day so much more fun when I'm at work. The question is for Aaron, since he's two, since he's two only one that has kids. But also want to know how Saul and Caesar would feel if they're in this situation. I'm expecting my firstborn son next month. Congratulations. I'm Congratulations. excited and all, but I'm just nervous about the delivery because my girlfriend may need to get a C-section because he's breech and won't turn. The thought of my girl getting cut open and having a baby come out is low-key scaring me. But I'm coming to terms with it because it has to be done. But even if it was a natural birth, I'm still scared because fuck, it finally hit me that I'm going to be a dad. How were you feeling at the moment when your kids were born? If it's not too much to ask. But have a great day, you guys. I love all of you guys. Keep it up. I love your podcast. The Patreon is hilarious. Link in the bio. So keep it up. (laughs) It's only up from here. I appreciate that, buddy. If you think if it's only up, isn't it harder because you're going uphill? Like if it's down, it's because if it's, it's only downhill from here, it's easier because you're only going down. Because the but down, if it's a straight cause, road, because if cause it's a straight the, road, because the downfall is easier. But than, what do, why do you have the to fall down? Going up. But why do you have to fall down? You can you just fall forward? The reason why it says it's only up from here <laughs> is because it's even, only good views. It's a steady pace, but you're going up. The reason why they say is the downfall is only down from there is because when you when you go down, it's just a lot quicker. Mm. But I've it, always wondered that. But what if you're always falling down for to good things? Cause like, have you ever gone on a hike and oh thank God now we're going down? No, because you're already tired from the way up. Oh. No fatty. But anyway, going back to this, <laughs> I want that cake. I'm not gonna lie. But have a, a great cake? okay. It's always cake. 
the thought of my girl getting but how but even if it was natural birth i'm scared so oh. how were you how were you feeling at the moment when your kids were born if not too much to ask how were you feeling? how was it how was the lead up oh sorry damn bro it's, damn damn we boring you huh huh are we <laughs> guess i gotta never fucking yawn again right Not yeah boring? all right cool Where's the gun if he yawns again shoot him God. um no scary very very uh intimidating i would say because um i i, I totally understand what he said because like in the beginning when you first get told that it's a very scary situation right oh, yeah and um you start contemplating about everything and you're just like oh f like you're just like fuck like at first you're like when it's, especially when you're someone who's very young and not ready that's all you think about is like fuck i'm like i'm not ready it's this like and that the, pay, the monetary part of the it. monetary am i gonna be even a good dad like I'm, I'm too young i think it's different i think even for parents that are ready they're monetary like monetary wise and all that they're still it's still kind of scary because you're bringing an actual yeah, human like being into the world molding a, yeah. a, a child mm -hmm. Career and now mode? you have to take care of somebody yeah. for for you know what I'm saying. Career mode. So regardless, you're gonna be. It's a scary thought, but when you're young, when you're young, and it's like you know you're still living your life and you're still like mm -hmm. getting to know what life really is. It's a very scary thought having having to be um to have care for another you know a baby, mm -hmm. and of course as time goes by you're still thinking about it, but it's, it's still like it hasn't it doesn't hit you again. You're like okay, you're just going with the flow. Then the moments that the, like the days before, like the time is like for when she her water breaks, or everything you go in the hospital, it hits again. You're like holy fuck! Like it's, in the car ride. Like it, it's right. it's actually here. Like this whole nine months, which you th which was gonna be a, what you thought was gonna be a long time, was not a long time, and now it's here. And then when you're in the in the room and the moments when you know the baby's coming out, it's just like this whole thing where like everything else stops everything around you stops you're not nothing else is on your mind except for that one moment so anything else could be happening but nothing matters it doesn't matter what the doctor or nurse are doing it's just about you and your girl and then the, the baby and then your baby being born and as much as yeah it's a very crazy sight some may call it like nasty. gross yeah. some may call it nasty some call it beautiful I think it's a mixture of both because <laughs> like yeah because it is like the visual itself is like very intense very crazy like what the f like holy shit she just popped out right like <laughs> that came out of you know that came out of you holy crap you know type of situation but it's beautiful in the in the way of like this is just like human nature yeah. and this is where everyone comes from it's and it's just beautiful seeing um like your 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 son or daughter just being born dude it's just a it's a, a unique experience that um hopefully everyone could you know um experience experience um when they're ready or when they feel like they want to because like i don't think anything beats that to be honest with you a lot of things in life are things that you want to um experience and that's one of them i'd say honestly i got lucky to experience it twice even yeah, it may have been young but um i'm glad i went through that man mm -hmm. and um what's it called of course your girls are gonna say like oh like i looked hideous this now or whatever she was but i'm like nah man it was like Yes, the moment's intense and you were in a lot of pain. But love is but in the air. Just that moment of seeing yeah. the baby just like lifted and then they give it to your girl and it's right there on her chest. And it's just like such a like an amazing moment. Uh -huh. You're just admi you're admiring your woman and your beautiful baby. You're just like, I just love this moment. Damn. And the moment you get to hold him or hold her is just like like you just tell you're just right there and you're just like, I'm going to make sure that you are just my main priority and nothing i'm never gonna let anything try to hurt you and as long as you're with me that mm -hmm. you're you're just like protected and i'm gonna care for you as long as i can as long as i'm on this earth that mm -hmm. you are my we are my one and that's just how you feel when you have kids man that's beautiful that moment just feels you amazing cry. yeah it's beautiful yeah i think it's like i think you put it the best I think, way i think you put it the best way possible yeah you put the with the phrase i loved you said it's a lucky experience yeah, man. I could. Yeah. I think people always think of it like, oh, like they think of a dread. But when you say it's a lucky experience to have kids, that's like so like. Yeah, because sadly, powerful. not not, not yeah. every woman could give birth. You know, sadly. Yeah, you know? every man can have. Yeah, kids. And, and um. And not every man can have kids. Yeah, and, and every man can mm -hmm. produce eggs and sperm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. produce eggs, produce sperm. Sorry. Um. So that's something that you should mm -hmm. never take for granted, because like not everyone can. Yeah. Naturally, I guess you could say. Um. Mm -hmm. But what's it called? Sorry, uh, that just reminded me of a good ass topic. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, sorry. I lost my that was sorry. I, I think that was solid. I think that you, no no yeah. That no, was I was solid. saying um 
but like also saying that as the as the man too you know i know women will probably say they will probably agree but also be like yeah because you're not the one in fucking pain which i totally understand but like it's that moments of pain that are just that make it so much worth it mm-hmm. and i can never say i am experienced i've never experienced that pain which is why you give women so much credit for going through that amount of pain which is like i'm pretty sure incredibly incredibly painful um but like it's just that that it's like how you know how they say like the, some of the most painful or hardest things are always the ones you treasure the most yeah that you accomplish that's one of them like this birth. tattoo <laughs> <laughs> and that's why birth is the one thing where you're just like it's it's just something that yeah. you get to be lucky to experience that was beautiful, beautiful. thanks man that made me cry yeah, I was a, I was trying not to, and I did it. But good job. Good job. You're growing. I'm growing. <laughs> what? Keep crying, keep crying. It's good for views, bro. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Next one. Before I married my I wife, I always liked these. Y'all were wild before you married your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like when they start off like yeah. that. Before I married my wife, we were dating. We were dating. We were dating her for six years. We were, we were dating for six years. Yeah, we're. I think bef- before I married my wife, we were dating her for six years. And we were about to be married for three years. We Who's were dating we? For six, right, so I think, I think, I think it's, it's, we were dating, we're just for, dating for six years, years and we were about to get married, married for three years. When we were about to be married for three years. So they've been together for six years. And then they've been married for three years. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. About to be nine years together. Yeah. Okay. But I was a fuck boy <laughs> most of the time. There it is. I used to work with her stepsister at a gas station. Oh, and yeah. let me tell you, <laughs> she has big ass boobs and a big ass. So temptation was there. I caved in and kissed her. My wife now doesn't know about it. Should I tell her about it? P.S. This happened like five. Bro, don't years tell ago. her. Don't tell her because you said temptations like the fucking group. Uh, don't even uh, don't, don't. I think don't don't tell her. It said look temptations. I mean, well, stepsister, right? Her stepsister. That's, that's going to come out one day. I'd rather live in harmony up until that day comes. No, I'd rather. But then you once be that the day one. comes, it's crashing. Yeah, let it you, crash. I'd she's I'd gonna get drunk be. at the Christmas party with everybody, and she's gonna bring it out. At the New Year's party, she's gonna bring it out. Trust, I've been there. Well, not me personally, but I've seen it firsthand. You don't want the girl to tell your girl that y'all had a thing. You gotta do it before. I've seen this in action. And deal with the consequences in two yeah, people. Yeah, it's better to deal with the consequence. Well, it's better for the people at the party because it's fun watching it unfold. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you want to do it. I think. I think you should do it. You should play like a like a like a game where you open. Oh, perfect. There, get the game. We're not really strangers, and you're like, hey, like, babe, like, I want to try this exercise. We really just get to know each other a little bit more, right? So you play the game and you open each other up, right? Because that, that game makes you open up. And then at the end of the game, you tell her, like, I really, I feel like we just create a stronger connection. I feel so much closer to you that I need to tell you this. And she's like, yes, please. You can tell me anything. I promise I won't get mad. <laughs> Boom. You got her. And then you can <laughs> tell her, hey, like low key, like back then I kissed your, your steps. What if she tells you something way worse? That's something you got to be prepared for because that might happen too. <laughs> I kiss your daddy on the dick. Yeah. So, <laughs> like what? Tip of it. Yeah. So, uh, think just about tell that. her straight up. Tell yeah, her, tell her. But tell get her. the game. We're not really straight. No, oh, don't play around with the games. Just Bro, tell her straight tries, up. Tries, tries. Mm-hmm. But all he got, all he got was a kiss. No, yo, he got me like you're saying. In trouble, you're saying bro. that she has Imagine some she voluptuous. You, you have some voluptuous woman. You oh. gave me Lisa Ann right there. No, I got the best idea. I got the best idea. I got the best fucking idea. You tell her, but you tell her. You set up. You set it up. In like a really bad way, where you made it seem like you really cheated, like you got your dick sucked, like you fucked, right? <laughs> make it worse than it is. Yeah, make it way worse than it is. And then she's like, "No, just tell him, like, just tell me already." And you go back, "Oh, I kissed your stepsister." She's gonna be like, "That's it." Trust. <laughs> Put the bar up there, and then when you tell her, she's gonna get. Make sure she gives you like, that's it. So you go like, "I just did something. I just I'm I just can't forgive myself anymore." Like. I feel like I'm going to lose your trust and I just really don't want to do that and you just mean so much to me. She's like, what is it? What is it? Tell me. Well, five years ago, I kissed your stepsister. The fuck? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's, it's beautiful. That's not going to work. It's going to work 100%. You've thought about these schemes like if you've been yeah. like in a relationship before. I know. It's, I don't know where I get it from. You know your way out. I just, I, don't, I, just I get possessed by the ghosts of fuckboys. 
you know <laughs> the ghost of fuckboy past not gonna work. Good boast, the, it's not gonna slide but um the fuck ghost i want to ask you guys something crazy that i just barely found out okay that's all since we we're talking about pregnancies have you guys ever heard of a push gift a pushed gift a push gift do you know what a push gift is pushed push p-u-s-h push gift when you push a baby out or what a push gift is a gift you give your baby mama for giving birth. Do you guys know that? Did you know that was a thing? No. A push gift. It's becoming very common in this day and age. Okay. Why? That's one like because yeah, because they I could, they gave yeah. it yeah they, they I mean yeah but. and it's and it's not like it's not like flowers or anything. It's like bags like something really nice like maybe something very expensive. It's something you give, like, when she comes back to the house, it's right there on the counter. Push gift. That's cool. I mean... It's, it's, that's just another gift. Like, that's why, just why, another why, gift. Why that's so just many gifts, Holiday. Man. Kids alone are so expensive. Your kid is your gift. The kid is the gift. Enjoy the gift. <laughs> <laughs> is it, was this not good enough, you know? Yeah, this is to be this big. But yeah, that's, isn't that wild? Like, a push gift. You guys never heard I've of it? I've heard right? about it now, like, but I never knew what it was called. Yeah. Push gift. I mean, in a way, I had this conversation with my I mean, barber. if she's like your wife and you love her, then I can see why you can do that and be like, oh, you know what? I appreciate you for what you've done. Give her like some for slippers. Holding, holding it for nine months. Yeah. Give her something cute. Yeah. Maybe some, I don't know. But I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing until like last week. Well, like, oh yeah, I got to get my girl a push gift. I'm like, what's that? He's like, yeah, I've never heard. Like, suppose like, I thought it was a joke. And then my other friend asked me about a push gift. And I guess it's a real thing. Is these women telling these men to buy more gifts? First, 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 all it was was a baby shower. That's all it was. Now it's a, a gender reveal. That's a gender reveal. That's a baby shower. Now you're doing the push gift. What's next? What is next? The anniversary of when I got my when the bump came out. You know when, when, when I started when I, showing. When I started showing the anniversary. <laughs> oh, you started showing. Here's a showing gift. Boop. It's wow. It's a lot of gift giving. I'm just saying. I mean, we don't even get St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, we can't even get St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I am mad. Push gift. Push gift. Yeah, so what think about it. Push gift. Get your girl push gift. No. <laughs> Seems so like a nice gesture. It's a nice gesture, but damn, man. So many gifts. I feel like it's a gesture, but it's not, it shouldn't be like a Birkin bag or nothing like crazy. Yeah. Like, like some slippers, like you're going to be chilling. Nah, like, I think it has to be like, I think it has a push gift. I think has to be like. You know how expensive a baby is? You know how expensive a gift that is already being given to you? Hey, instead of putting the money in the push gift, how about putting it into some formula? How about putting it into a fucking Roth IRA and making his life better in the future? Yeah, into some diapers. Ooh. Push gift. Yeah, so I don't know, but you know, I mean, if you got it like that, go the Roth means. IRA. That's a good one. Roth IRA, yep. Make a, get, get your girl push gift. Start his college fund now. Push gift. Yeah. But any other things you guys got before we wrap it up? How do you guys feel about um, how many eggs does it get think, to the, get to the how, how many eggs, eggs do you think there'd be for a man to have according to women? How, how many eggs does it take for a girl to get to the center of your tootsie pop? No, to so, like find a man on a track. There's this TikTok account called Guy with the List. Guy with the List. His whole page is literally oh i've seen that i've seen him always so the funny thing is he literally keeps track of all this so he has like you know like the the on his notes he writes a list and it's always like those people that interview like women on the streets or whatever and then he adds to the he he just adds the x to the list and the fact that this point has gone up to like 500 like 80 something x is fucking crazy but when you read the x that he writes down because of what they say is ridiculous one literally says um uh don't uh don't ride a bike like a motorcycle <laughs> yeah no like a bike <laughs> like a bicycle <laughs> it says don't wear like okay so um let's just see here right he's gonna ask him something right and then he's gonna write it down let's just, i'm gonna pause it right now it's in the 50s and 60s right here don't jump <laughs> don't use sauce don't follow the crowd at a concert don't have fun don't look for parking <laughs> don't wear socks don't ice skate <laughs> Don't eat food. <laughs> don't mow the lawn. Don't hula hoop. Yeah. Hula hoop is a crazy one. Don't lose an arm. Yeah. <laughs> don't ride a scooter. Do, don't try on new shoes. <laughs> don't be over 18. What the fuck? Wait, wait, don't get hurt. Don't drink from a straw. Mm, so uh, it just goes, 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 goes. Now we're at number 600. <laughs> the last 500 right here says don't 
where it says don't sleep, don't run, don't play VR games. That's it. Don't pour a drink. Don't make the bed. All- don't be nice. Dude, like, it's ridiculous how, like, some of these are just wild and crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Look, like, this is a new wake, I guess, when you're trying to folk, like, put the, <laughs> put the fucking when that on the corner. The savannah on the fucking bed. Yeah, I guess that's an ick. You know who doesn't give me icks? Our sugar babies and our sugar mamas. Yeah. If you guys want to know what Patreon is, go check out the link in the bio for extra content of IE and Friends, now available on Spotify. If you have Spotify, you can also listen to us on Patreon. All you got to do, open up your Spotify app, go to IE and Friends, and then you click on the top one exclusive episodes for subscribers. So there they are. And you just connect your Patreon and you have access to Patreon on Spotify. Very cool. Damn. Cool, huh? Damn. Took yeah, me so long to set this up. That'd I'm be so nice. Proud. But yeah, all of our episodes are right here. They're just locked. So go check that out. And now we are going to shout out our sugar mamas and sugar daddies. Bum, bum, bum. Go start off with the man, Andy No Love. What up, Andy? Hey, no, Andy No, no love. love. Robert Two Hoochie. What's up, Hoochie Daddy? Hopping it. Hop, hop, hop. Alex Galindo. What up, Alex? Alex. Fidel, the Sorry. billionaire menaces. What's up, Fidel? What's up, Fideli? Jonathan. What up, Jonathan? Jonathan. Breezy. Where are Loki? What's up, Breezy? A little breezy out there. Out a little there. breezy out there today. Yeah. David Naranjo. What's up, David? What's up, little orange? Gloria Maravilla. What's up, Gloria? I just want that last name. I want you. Jesus no. Guzman. What's up, Jesus? Jesus. What's going on, dude? Maria Felipe. What's up, Maria Felipe? What's up, Philip. Karencita. Karencita. Ua. Ua. Bubba Dahlia. Bubba oh. Dahlia. Alvaro. Hey, oh, our bottle hey, service hey, man. Hey, hey. Alvaro Benitez. What up, what up, what up? You know who has the size of that bottle right there? Alvaro, Alvaro Benitez. Benitez. Alvaro Benitez. Just to show. he would be showing it around New York City. <laughs> then we got us. the homie Razor Ramon Hedges. What's Flo- up, Ramon? We got the beautiful Sandra Gonzalez. What's up, Sandra? I love the pink hair. We got the Silver Tooth Kid, Oscar Martinez. That's Silver Oscar. Tooth Kid. Yeah, that's that right. name just gives me uh, like Silver Tooth. Oh, yeah. Silver Tooth vibes. Yeah. Kike y la novia Perez. What yeah. up, Kike? Still waiting on that name change, man. Liliana Juarez. What's up, Lily? Liliana? And Bradley Lopez Martinez. Hi, Bradley. Yeah. Thank you guys oh, so sorry. much for being our Patreons on Patreon. It really means a lot. Make sure to go check out Patreon. But yeah. that wraps up today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me. On every social media platform, at Saul V. Gomez. Follow me at I know Caesar. Airbear underscore IE. And we'll see you guys next week. Boo.